I'll turn me on and then I'll turn them. Oh my giddy aunt, you will not believe this. Are you all just everything dead? No, What's you happened? you are all in the right place. <gasps> Yahtzee! <laughs> <laughs> Nobody is in the wrong place at all. There you go. So you must have logged in roughly the same way, if that makes sense. And then you sort of like gone to the normal areas. Anyway, hello everyone. Welcome back. Um, it's classic fantasy imperative night. And we left the party um, just, well, round one, turn one into the actual battle. They are ready to go and they... We, we've got polar opposites, if I, I remember rightly. We've got um, Bracive and Ida charging in together where Caramore and Bell are doing the sneaky, sneaky approach sneaky. From, from behind. And that that's where we left it. So, um, But be, before I tell you a quick rundown of what the adventure has done so far... I am going to allow the players to say who they are and who they will be playing tonight. And we're going to go with Medivac first, because I heard something. Well, well yeah, go for it, Medivac. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks all. Um, I, I'm Medivac and I play Ida. She is an elven cleric of Nisa. Um, Nisa is a goddess of protection, of um, uh, charitability. Charitability, is that a word? Uh, charity. Um, and... Yeah, generally all good things. Um, she's the group's healer, buffer, um, and the person who unfrightens people. Um, <laughs> she she also wears scale mail, um, has a shield and a mace. Pretty much a standard cleric. A magic a shield. A magic shield, a plus five shield, which I have no idea what that does, but hey-ho. Um, yeah, so th that's basically her. She, she's out to just help people and keep these guys alive and with that i shall pass on to captain kangaroo uh hey everyone i am playing um, captain kangaroo playing uh abrasive brandax he is the fighter the rippling muscle the group the uh the half orc fighter that's there just to smash everyone and then after maybe a few drinks then ask for their name um he uh he's really there just to you know jump in when everyone else runs out of magic points or uh forgets that they haven't uh you know put a rock on their slain for 18 minutes um but besides that i'll make it easy and fast and go to mr pickles i am mr pickles and i am the one who takes 18 minutes to put a rock in a sling <laughs> um no I'm, I'm playing belinda ofregiak um who everybody just calls her bell um she's a gnome thief um she's part of a thieves guild but i haven't really talked to them in a while i'm i'm still part of the guild um she's very small but she's very dexterous and can tend to be a bit loud as we found last session she has the oratory skill so whenever we need to lie to people or make a big speech she's the character we go to in combat she's sort of a mix of melee and a mix of ranged she doesn't use magic points for her ranged attacks but she does have to reload her sling and it takes a little while <laughs> Um, beyond that, she loves metal coins and hates goblins and is uh, uh, in the sneaking attack in the encounter going forward. And with that, I'm just going to throw it on over to Fish. Hi Fishy. There. I'm Fishy. I am playing Caramel Blackmane, who is a human arcane magic using prodigy, at least in his own head. Though at the moment, he has yet to prove that he can do anything other than just being a walking human floodlight. <laughs> Any more about him, you'll just have to wait and see as we play. Back to you, and Wills. Thank you very much. Um, so just to remind you, if you would like to follow any of our RPG exploits, then you can do over on our Kofi on my Kofi page. And there are a variety of ways you can support us and the stream. Um, the most important one is being there, being here in the chat, interacting and promoting the word but on the Kofi side you can donate you can give membership 
um, gain a membership, which will give the party hero points. Uh, you get a sneaky peek behind the scenes of character sheets, and you also gain access to the World Anvil site that has all the information of our campaign on, including my adventure notes that you might see me creating in the GM prep stream um, on a Sunday night. Um, yeah, you will be able to give them um, party hero points, which allows them to survive death uh, or reverse roles or just do really impressive things. But most importantly, it's lovely to have you along tonight. And let me give you a quick update of what's been happening. So the players came back from their mine challenge when they'd gone into the mine to collect mushrooms to discover that their the village that they ha are very passionate about of love the inhabitants and everything have been had been cursed by a, an evil um what they described as a necromancer and the necromancer left her followers behind that the party swiftly dispatched in a in a tavern and then they went out and found out that the the necromancer had headed into the forest with their prior contact and um, percy the party were very brave and decided to trek off into the forest after the cow the wagons and they came across uh, a small camp um, as you can see on the map above you, where there was two wagons and some followers. They decided to ambush them as quickly as possible. So you can see up at the top, um, Brasive and Ida um, coming in. And then down at the bottom, we've got Caraman and Bell. Sneaky, sneaky. And this is their best friend. Um, Percy just here and uh, we had just to let you know Mithras has combat rounds that last five seconds but within each round there are turns and every turn the party members and the mobs get an opportunity to use their action points and their action points dictate what essentially they can do um, if they don't use their action point in the turn, then it's just lost. They can't sort of like save it up. So what we've done is that we've done combat round one uh, around last five seconds, and we've just done combat turn one. And in turn one, um, Bell and Caramor managed to sneak very silently up to about, well, where they are on the map now, um, halfway to Percy, while Brasive and Ida charged in. And just as they charged in from up in the treetop, um, a crossbow bolt flew down and narrowly missed Brasive. Brasive is head down, charging towards um, a, an opponent. If he can get there, his next round he will it be one difficult be more difficult to hit, but his damage modifier roll will go up. And believe me, Brasive does a huge amount of damage when he hits. And Ida's coming in as well, um, keeping tabs with Brasive. Okay, then. So we're coming straight into combat turn two. And we're going to the bottom of the map. Um, Bell, uh, with you, what would you like to um, do? I believe I was sneaking up to free Percy um, with my blade in one hand, sling in the other. Yes, that is correct. Um, so that is what I would do with my limited movement. Okay. Um, so don't forget, I'm I gave assuming... Your... Bless. Oh, yeah, I gave you a bless. Oh, so you got your, your... your shield... Um, gives you 5% bonus to your combat shield when parrying. Oh, cool. And then the shield itself have, has plus 5 armor points and plus 2 hit points onto Fantastic. whatever it is. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, yeah, nice. Um, so, Bell, you need to... Um, let me just jump to Caramore at the same time. Are you, mm -hmm. are you going to do the same... Um, action as 
bell or you're going to do something different. As, as I recall, I was coming around the right hand side of this tree. Yeah. So still sneaking, sneaking forward, but just coming at a slightly different angle, headed more towards the uh, where the horses are and the carriage. Brilliant. Uh, to deal with whoever's around there. Okay, then. So we can do that separately, then that's not a problem. So, Belle, um, roll that lovely stealth roll for me. Absolutely. Stealth time. Yeah. Um, you silent as a ghost. You are moving up and you get to the side um, of the, the tree there. Um, you probably get your back towards it, so you're out of sight and out of mind, and you are lurking there ready for the beginning of the next round. Um, to, to, to be fair, like silent as a ghost, like ghosts are, they're always trying to get your attention. That's why they, that's why I would scare them. So I don't know if that makes any sense. Ooh, I'm sneaky. Is the rope all around the tree or no? It, like he's a... just oh hang hang on a minute. Let I always forget to look at my adventure notes when I am DMing. I just sort of like go go with it. So I suppose I better um, check what I actually said. Um Death in the forest, this part's called. Uh yeah, we're gonna die. There we go. Let's bring that up. Some death will happen in this forest. Uh, I, have, I have tunnel sense if that helps us survive. Um, it, it, it says um, tied up by the base of the tree. So he's probably got his hands and ankles tied, but gotcha. not actually um, tied round the tree. Um, Bracif, um, you can mm -hmm. finish off your movement for your charge if you wish. Yes, I will. Okay, so you... That. You can pop yourself up next to the person ready to attack next time. Um, nice. Um, and then um, as you move, um, there's another um, shot um, coming um, down. It's actually fired at you, Bracif, as, they, as you sort of like charge past them. Um, so they will be um, hard to hit you. Um, so let me just bring that out onto my other screen so I can have it on top. So here comes their um, arrow. That sort of like is firing um, at you as, as you're running. Um, now, unfortunately, you're running, so you can't take any other action um, at all. So you could use a luck roll to get me to re-roll it. Um, swapping it round wouldn't happen. Or you can use a hero point to automatically make it fail. Or nah. you could or you could be a man and take it. <laughs> I'm gonna be at least half a man uh, and take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll take it. Like whatever. I, 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 don't, I don't care about darts. Uh, okay then. Um, so this will come in onto your four, which is probably a leg. Better not be my inner thigh. You what? Sorry. <laughs> Nothing. This, this reminds me of the orc running to explore the bomb, explode the bomb in yeah. um, Helm's Deep. Okay yeah. then. Here comes his his crossbow bolt. Twang, and. Uh, okay. he, yeah, you yeah. take um, five points of damage into your leg. Your armor would stop it. Uh, as Sorry, I didn't know a nap bit me. My bad. <laughs> um, so, so that's that. That's that um, done. Um, the this one um, here and the one by the horses. Um, Bracive isn't doing a silent charge in. They all have drawn their short swords um, in, and preparing to attack. They're not moving and drawing the swords because otherwise I'll need to make a check and they will drop them. And um, we come to you, Camor. Um, yeah, okay. So, um, what, what is my movement? I've just still got to learn this game a bit more. It's probably either um, 18 or 20, it tends to be. Hang on, I've got the rules. 
Mm, mm, oh, you're a human, aren't you? Just be normal human movements. So. I think all the tall squares, people have a 20 for their 20. Yeah, that's what I think. I'm stuck with a 15 because I'm cool. Because you're by tall people, you mean people of just average height. That's correct. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, humans has a, a movement speed of 20 feet. So I should be able to creep around that. To... Yeah. Uh, there, like so. And are you going creepy, creepy? Definitely going creepy, creepy still at the moment. Yeah. Yes. So, so that's going to be the stealth roll, I assume. Uh, it certainly does. See if I screw this up completely. Bound to happen. Ooh. Now, Ooh, so you, yeah, well and truly. <laughs> so you have a, a choice. You can either leave it like that and fail, or, or you can use a luck roll, a luck point, take a luck point off and re-roll it. Um, unfortunately, you can't swap it around because it would still be a fail. It would still be a failure. Yeah. yeah. So, do I want to use a luck point this early in the game? That's the question. I say, don't don't forget they've all refreshed. You've got them all back from last week. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've yeah. just I just put them back up to to four. Now I've got to decide whether to drop it back down to three again. I mean, Barish was making quite a lot of noise in the other direction, so I could just hope that he covers my my blunder. But no, no, I'm not going to take that risk. I will spend a luck point. And that lets me. That's what I would. Yeah, I would say. If I were in that, <laughs> it's only because you're down there, Barry. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I was, oh yes, it seems oh. like the general plan is oh, that's more like some it. surprise. <laughs> that's more like it, and you go silent, silently to the place, and you are sort of like behind uh, a tree there, and we come up to the top, Ida, with you. All right. Uh, well, I shall be. Um, just to remind you, you can move. Um, through these, these are um, smaller Tree trees. Tops. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I'm going to move. So my move's twenty. So it's five, isn't it? Five. Uh, yes. So it'd be twenty cut across. So you would have moved half your movement in the last turn, and you'll move half okay. your movement this well, turn. I'll move behind that tree stump then, heading down. Got you. Are you like in M space taking cover with with it? Yeah. Um, or are you I'm just moving that, past no, it? I, I'm basically moving to the the, the, the back end of the tree um, yeah. as far as I can get, um, in the hope that it's going to block the sight from this one down here. Got you. Absolutely got you. Okay, um, brilliant. And that's everybody done. And the nice thing about um, classic fantasy at this level is that there's only any, everybody only has two action points. So we could go straight up at the top. Action points can be refreshed. And we're coming straight down to you, um, Bell. I'm going to continue moving up, um, hopefully sticking close to the tree um, to free our comrade. Okay, then. Make your move so you can... Sounds good. Okay, then. Um, is that roughly third of your movement? Uh, you... What's your movement? No. Um, five foot. Third, um, I would be about there. All right. Five, five, okay, five got you. So you're not taking the quick move to be able to do something. Is that where I'd you love started? To, actually, if I can. Is that uh, where you started? Uh, well, a, th a third of my movement would just be one square. Yeah. Um, I was right here, so then I would have only been able to move here. But okay. if I do the quick move, I'd love to do that. Yeah, so you quick a quick move is always one third of your movement. And that oh, allows you yeah. to do something else as well uh, as what you're actually moving to. Um, are you moving that little way with... Um, of course, of course, you could do your full movement... So you would do, what are you, a gnome? So you could yeah, probably do two squares, but you won't be able to do anything else that turn. So yeah, you won't... That, that is actually what I'd prefer to do. I yeah. got my movement uh, terms confused. So you get up to that. And are you doing that silent, silently? Ideally. Okay, then. So roll your stealth. <sighs> 
<laughs> and I don't even spend a magic point. <laughs> no, you don't. Nobody. So Percy doesn't hear you approaching, even though you're right behind him now. He's still sort of like hunched over with his um, wrist tied and he can't hear you or anything. And you're literally about this close uh, away from him. Okay, then. Up to the... He's going to scream in a minute, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming up to the top, Bracev. Try not to kill Bracive. the horse that's next to you. <laughs> um, it was whatever gets in the way of my axe, right? It's, it's a horse's fault. You should have been paying attention to my screams. It should have. Yeah, exactly. I take your point. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go in for the attack okay. as dramatically and ripply sexy as possible. Uh, hopefully, so much blood splatters. It's like a, it's like a Quentin Tarantino film. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. Everyone, cross your fingers at home. So this is hard. Uh, remember, if you because you of your charge. And is is it just um? Let's do it. Let's do it. You, you can spend it. Reverse it. <laughs> According to the new fudge rolls that I'm, nudge rolls that I'm um, talking about, which if you've re listened to the podcast, you yeah. can actually, because it's one point away, you can actually use a luck point and not reload it, re-roll it or anything, just make it happen. I'm going to nudge it. I'm yeah. Gonna so that'll nudge take... it so I don't fub it. That right. takes your um, luck point down. It takes a luck point to do it as you um, swing with it. This guy uh, will try desperately to parry with his um, his short sword, and he fails. <laughs> okay, just to let you know, <laughs> just to let you know, because you're charging as well. If he had succeeded, your weapon would be one step larger as well. So the chances are it might have just gone straight through his sword. So you do have a special, a hit location, and then a damage for me. So what special would you like to do? Um, I'm going to do his bleed as my special. Okay, got you. So I need a hit location. Hit location. And then uh, what's the... It should, it should, I just add I just, one to my... I just wondered why you're not. I just, I just thought. Oh, I, I just felt you were surely going to do choose location and go for the head, but no. We're we're doing a nice bleed. Um, ten points. Um, to my what's um, sorry. You're going to my ten right in the chest. This is coming in at. Right in the up. chest or just like taken <laughs> off the chest uh, well like, we're, we're, <laughs> we're trying to deca decapitate his chest uh, yeah yes, you, you might actually just slice across and <laughs> yeah that's what i was trying to go for i don't want I, the head's too you know too dramatic as itself but the entire chest okay so you will there's no way of surviving that so you will um, do some damage but remember your um damage modifier is up one so what is it what is it normally uh, it's one d six, so now it's one d eight. It's one d eight, yeah. All right. So um, you, I'll just I'll add a one d two at the end at the end of my roll, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'll just do that so that way I can. So do this. So that's thirteen. Does that have my modifier there? Wow, those are bad rolls. See, it's not so much the, the damage of his axe; it's the damage of him. Yeah, um, the X the axe helps a bit too. Yeah. Do, do you have a one? Do you, yeah. Okay. So that's fifteen uh, points of uh, damage. Yeah. Uh, okay then. So, um, hang on. I just need to. Uh, yeah, go for it. Whoever. Can we use him as a canoe? <laughs> so, remember that two things. Um, if your damage is ever bigger than the size of the person that or monster then the monster as well as the opponent as well as taking damage has knock back okay so the the, the size of a, a normal human is about 13 
um, size. So you have done 15 points damage. So you are yeah. um, higher than his thing. So he is going to be knocked back or flung to one side. The other impressive thing with your um, 15 points of damage, it's enough to slice, give him a major wound across his um, um, chest. So you virtually, uh, which way would you be swinging? To the east or to the west? Um, actually, I think it's even better. I'm probably sweeping from below. So I'll be that way. Hang on, let me swap. Like swiping across, like, like got, knocking him, got, knocking him down, like with a golf club. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, so would he fly to the east or west? He'd fly probably this way. I'm doing it right. Yeah. Okay then. Yeah. So, so he sort of like um, he doesn't fly that far. Uh, he sort of like comes there. There's a spurt of blood, and he's sort of like it looks like he's got a flip top sh um, chest now that just sort of like breaks open and he lands um, on the ground, um, a, a mushy mess, and absolutely um, out of it. Now, I before we do anything else. And because I don't want to forget, I need to roll a 1d100. Um, surprisingly enough, the, the horse next to you um, shies up a little way, but manages to keep um, in control um, of itself. And it's still, if you remember, the tethered to the ground. It sort of like mm. sh shies up a bit, but it's, it, it's good. It's not a problem. Um, okay, um, my turn, um, is it not? Yeah. Um, so we've got um, some crossbow bolts coming down, folks. Um, so these are both coming to you now, um, Bracive. Um, so just to let you know, one, this was where he was, there was one firing before. Okay, so I will do this with him for you. And coupled with that, you also see a crossbow bolt coming from this place here. How fast are they reloading? Um, so that's true. The one behind you is not, you just got one, very true. So this this one is reloading, but this one is already loaded. So he is um, firing. Ooh. And another crossbow bolt um, shears um, past you. Um, this guy here is keeping his sword drawn and he's not approaching or anything. If anything, he's probably using a bit of his movement and coming to the opposite side of these horses. And this one's coming down here. And so that's it. I'm Carrymore. We're down to you. Let me get my dice out for my reload. Okay, so... I think at the moment, I, until the situation, my immediate situation changes, I want to keep trying to sneak forward. Okay. So, get up about as far as there, I think. And that's going to mean more stealth checks. Yeah. Uh, some stealth, stealth checks, checks for today. me, please. Light crossbow three. Okay. Got you. It's not a good stealth check at all. That is not. No. Um, now look, I don't want to use all of my um, points on stealth checks, so I think I'm just going to have to accept the fact that I've not been very stealthy there. Okay, so what... Nothing, can't go right all the time. So what I'm going um, to um, say at this point is that I'm going to roll my perception of the person, um, the... Follow up. Sneaking up on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here he goes. 
No, he he doesn't see oh. you. You step on several um, twigs and etc. But obviously, the battle that's heading off in front, he's more concerned about that. Um, Zedikan is in the chat, um, Medivac. He says hi. He says hi, hi Medi. So I presume that's. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, so therefore, um, carry more, that's you done. And now we're coming back up to you, Ida. Um, mine has changed slightly, seeing the crossbow bolt come down. Um, and I, can I see this one in this tree here? Um, he, you will need to make a perception check against his um, stealth check at the moment. Um, to see whether or not you can see him. You you see the crossbow bolt comes up, but it just sees a whole load of um, foliage at the moment. But you can roll. You I'm don't need to take an action to do a perception no, check. Yeah. I'll, um, I'll oh. <laughs> I can you see, see him, him and I can see the guy a mile I, yeah. away. <laughs> <laughs> you also see he's got a little bit of speck on his armor yeah, where he dri oh. yeah, dropped a bit of... <laughs> From the bird shit, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um yeah so you you can see him he's he seems to be perched um uh, astride a branch and um, propped up and he's um actually um busily trying to load his thing he's he's about 20 foot up just so you know brilliant in which case i'm going to focus my will some of my lady's power the goddess nisa and cast me fuddle on him oh nice yeah um roll away i don't need to target and it's my channel come on don't let me down Ooh, oh best score right you could possibly dot. get <laughs> um yeah so i i do my willpower as an opposed role Indeed. yeah uh so i i fail my um uh role and he's just sort of like there um you've got 30 minutes of dribbling yeah uh, unless there's a a an aggressive action that's right yeah, yeah. on him no yeah. i don't think it is i think it's oh uh, don't say that because i'm sure look. we had this um down the mine oh do you know what we may have done as well <laughs> except when it was uh, in the mine it was favorable to us to have that rule yeah because i was befuddled yes yeah, <laughs> yeah but what happens if the mine stays in the mine <laughs> Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that's it. Uh, you have, right. have self, self defense, any action, any sort of attacker or threatening action instantly breaks the you know, whether or not it was directed at physical. Really? Yeah. Gosh. You've still bought time, though. That's true. Yeah. Lo loading is a uh, very specific no, and. No, nobody attack. attack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ida says, put your swords away. <laughs> uh, uh, right. So we're coming back up to um, turn uh, two. Uh, so, Belle, we're coming back down to you down here. Um, you are right next to Percy. Um, he hasn't um, detected I you due to your wonderful crit roll. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm... I'm I even have a special ability, hide in shadows. So if there are any shadows, I think it was approaching nightfall. Yes, there are. You're in a um, shadow. You can see the shadow of the tree there. In that case, anybody who tries to look at me directly uh, gets a, a step penalty to their perception. Brilliant. That's worth um, knowing. For whatever that's worth. But yeah. Right here, I'd like to use, since I'm really close to Percy, I'd like to use my free action, if I may, to say um, the following words, something like, don't say a word. Um, I'd like to whisper that, and then I want to, hopefully, if he doesn't just start screaming, I will, uh, my goal is to now cut his, uh, ropes. Okay, then. So, my you, short sword. so you, yeah, you can start, um, cutting away, uh, on your action this, um, this turning. He sort of, like, um, stiffens slightly, um, but then feels that his bounds are, his ropes are being cut um so doesn't actually um move or anything he seems quite transfixed um you do notice bell he seems to be looking at the wagon um the black wagon rather than an anything else um so yeah, yeah so you're frantically um cutting out and br brace if we're coming up to you 
Um, I'm trying to think what should probably be the best route for Grayson on this one. Um, Grayson would probably go after this one, even though he knows he puts himself in a line of fire of both the. Uh, so, which one are you going for? I missed the ping. This one. Sorry, I'm. That one. That one. Right, yeah, yeah. I know it puts himself in a line of fire, but. He also knows he needs to distract as much as possible. He knows he needs to be in this general direction. Yeah. To distract from his. Uh, so he's going to uh, so charge can... against that one. Okay. I then. think it should be a full charge or just. Well, it's I'm up trying, to I'm you. I remember how far, how far you... he can go. So you have to be able to do at least one turn. at uh, So enough space mm -hmm. as you're at your running speed. So. Um, what's your normal movement? I think it's 20 feet. Okay. Um, so run is um, triple that, isn't it? So do you... And each, each wears five feet? Yeah. So you've only got okay. 30 foot, so it's going to be a case of moving. You're not going to get up yeah. to speed um, to That's do fine. it. But you can start moving. You can move your full movement on this turn. Um, right. And and so so I can go um four spaces, right? Yeah. Does that mean diagonal too or no? Uh it's as long as you're moving roughly in a forward manner. Yeah. Like there? Yeah. Um so right. I'm just reminding myself about um um reloading. Um so yeah. And right. Um, skeleton followers are, are next. So the two in the trees are using this turn to um, reload. Um, so the top, well, top one's not doing anything either, um, but the bottom one is um, taking this turn to reload. Uh, this one will have that as well, but is doing nothing else. Um, this one um, uses its um, movement to uh, move uh, towards you, um, abrasive. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, come on, buddy. So we, come on. it has to use all its movement to get to you, so it can't do an attack when it gets there. And oh, um, this, uh, yes, sorry. Ignore that I just said, and this one. Um, let me just um, see something. I just need to make sure that you can't see this measuring. And this is when they take off the, the, the fake horse costumes, and it's now it's even more skeletons. <laughs> you... you... <laughs> <laughs> You know I me think we too. Them all. No. You know me too well. <laughs> yes, they're they're really pantomime horses. <laughs> right, just... one, at the front, one at the back. Yeah. <laughs> he, he just takes out the hey, it's for horses. Oh, yeah. Bitch. <laughs> well, in fact, there's three. There's one in the middle with two coconuts bashing them together. <laughs> and um all of a sudden, um another crossbow bolt comes across um, <gasps> it's got a critical um five to hit you at the moment abrasive <laughs> are you parrying are you ignoring are you running away did you get a drink delivered are you muted um you actually what i'm gonna do points? I'm gonna use my luck point and make you re-roll that. Yeah, by all means. I don't like it. It's a it's a it's stupid get a roll. Six. No. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I, another crossbow bolt comes flying at you. Uh, it came from roughly um, our ping, so you can see roughly the direction. It came from over here somewhere. Oh dang! But it did all come down. It did come down at at an angle. Um, so, but it did, that would have been a lovely hit. I would have crit impaled and yeah. just buried it into your shot. <laughs> I didn't want to give you that. I didn't want to give you that. Um, yeah. 
Okay, then. And Carrymore, we're up to you. Uh, am I right in thinking that I can just make a, a, a small one square move and still attack? Yeah, so you can make a yeah. quick move and still attack. And you can actually quick move either before or after the attack. But if you're in combat, you have to um, roll a disengage or use a yeah. disengage special to get away. So would that quick move allow for diagonal or has it got to be a straight line? It, it, well, it, it doesn't matter. You can either, here or here, so, you'll be, yeah. it, it, you'll be able to, if I could, to hit If I could it. step yeah. in here and, and just fine. swing a quarter star for the back of the guy's head. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so yeah, step in there since currently he seems to be unaware of me and attempt to thwack him. Thwack him hard. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not very good at doing this, but we shall see what happens. No, nope. that, oh, that, that. that is a hit. So your, is... your first bit of combat. So the order you have to declare it is that you need a special. You get a special because there's one level of differentiated role. You get a special, oh, okay. then you do hit location, and then you do damage. Um, right. Choose location um, means that you don't roll your, um, your 1d20 to see where it hits. Um, choose locations can be used on any rolls. They just become crits when you've got uh, missile weapons. Um, but you can do um, stun location with your staff. So if it hits, wherever it hits, the if it fails its um, endurance roll, it will not be able to use that limb um, for a period of time. Um, you can't press advantage at the moment because combat hasn't um, started. Um, any of the party you're quite willing to, I'm quite happy for you to wade in and tell Fish the best option or Kaimor the best option at this point. I mean, I'm very tempted by stun location, but at the same time, I kind of want to hit him on the head. So <laughs> choose location is yeah. the other one that, that uh, I, I think I'm going to go with the choose location. And, nice. Yeah. Uh, since since I narratively described it swinging at the back of his head, but yeah. didn't actually hit that. So you can um, choose location, which would be his head. So all I need you to do now is to damage roll your there. damage. Oh. Ooh. That's not impressive damage. Ouch. That That's when stun location is kind of nice as a backup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, then. So you... Um, creep up behind him and go bonk with oh. it's a bit like that film what what is that film when somebody tries to knock the person out by hitting on the, him on the head and he just hits him on the head and he just goes ow like that it's <laughs> so like doesn't knock him out at all so you sort of like bash him on his head and he that sort sounds of like naked gun that. he sounds something like that <laughs> or a horror movie one of those scream movies or something like that. anyway um so you bash him on the head he takes um two points of damage um in his head which um he then turns round um to face you and ida hello <laughs> we are up to you I must always remember to unmute. Yes, please. Right. So I'm seeing that um, that Bracey's getting lots of attention from uh, missiles. So I would like to try. Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba. Blow tree. Is it what? Sorry. Blow Don't tree. That, that spell well, blow tree. tree. Blow tree. Yeah, when, when, when the entire tree blows up. Ah. Now I was going to try. Was it protection or is it uh, spirit shield? I can't remember which one it is. Don't you have inflict wounds? I, yeah, but it's it's touch. Oh, oh! <laughs> it's, stay, it's, stay there while I climb up. Oh, <laughs> Bartleby's having a <laughs> laugh <laughs> now. <laughs> Not touch me now. <laughs> Uh, but a bird duration of five rounds resist. Right, okay, so this is increasing difficulty and tax of striking. Right. Like this, hold it in front. Yeah, that's for me. Protection. Can you do spirit hammer yet? No. Oh. No. 
you know, I thought I had, I must have, it must have duplicated or I've, I've got rid of it for some reason. But anyway, okay, in which case, sorry, ignore that. Um, I am going to move into the fray and hope that it um, takes some um, pressure off Bracev. Okay. So uh, there's, my, there's my 10 foot there for my first turn. Yeah, brilliant. And shield up. Yep, shield. shield is, yep. Shield. Yes, shield. I've already got the passive, passive blocking. Uh, excellent. So we're going back up to the top of the um, round now. It's combat round three, turn one. So just to um, remind players, when we're playing Mithras, some of you would be making endurance rolls now before having a, a level of fatigue. Um, Bell, you are up. Um, am I still cutting the, the ropes? Uh, yeah, he's free now. He is completely free. Um, all right. I would like to do a quick move and an attack with my sling. Yeah. Um, seems my oxymoronic. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not loading my sling right now. Um, I'm going to move there and I would like to attack this guy. Um, uh, no. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Go on. Actually, I think I still will. combat. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's never let me down yet. <laughs> I'm going to fire into, into combat there. Um, okay, then. My sling. So your roll will be hard at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Click, clack, bang. Ooh. Ooh. The sling <laughs> flies through the air and, and finds... That is just pure luck, isn't it? <laughs> that is. I was really hoping that if I delayed it long enough, it would just actually work. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I need a uh, a special because he doesn't know it's coming to us, and so it, it, you've got the 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 differential roll. So I need a special a hit location and a damage. Uh, um, let me just double check my sneak attack rules really quick. Ooh. Um, I think it means that I can't. I don't use get any special... bonus damage, um, uh... and I can't use specials when you sneak attack. I think. I believe so. Oh. Oh, it just makes it so if you are rolling to defend against me, um, it becomes much more difficult for you. Yeah. Um, okay, so that doesn't really matter right now. So I am going to stun do... location. Yeah, thank you. And uh, well, no, I think it's a good one. Well, there's also quick reload. Oh, is there not? There uh, is. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, nice but how, how rapid, quick is quick reload? Rapid reload. So rapid reload. Instead is... of five turns, it's, it's four. Four turns. <laughs> yeah. no, instead of it only takes three turns. And, but, you know what? Okay, I'm doing stun uh, location. You guys more need to time. know the entire process again because clearly you've forgotten it. I will do stun location. <laughs> Can I just say that rapid reload is stackable? So if you actually had a, a crit. You could um, mm. rapid reload twice, and so it becomes. Oh, we're going this. Right. It's going in a seven. That's going abdomen. Abdomen, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna make you throw up all over my wizard friend. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. First fight, the just trauma. Seven damage, almost the maximum I can oh, do. Wow. wow. Nice. You are joking. That's a, that's a hurtful rock. Wow. I'm here. To protect the wizard, sort of. That hits him right in the belly button. That is that wow. is fierce. I never realized it was you were that good with that thing. Uh, I've never been that good. Um, <laughs> but you also have. You, you, I don't think you've ever used it, have you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've hit before. I just. Um... I, I, I've loaded it. Oh, combat's over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would have got if you guys held him down for a bit. Talk, talk about me. Talk about me. Okay. Um, in comes the uh, <laughs> stun location. So my endurance check is against your original role, is it not? Correct. Uh, Eleven. I, what? Not the, great. Oh, that's not very good. Uh, no, but I made my hit. So uh, he he fails at that uh, in any case. So he now cannot move or do perform any action um, at all. However, um, you have taken him down to negative hit points. 
Um, you think you might have hit him and maybe um, the fl the sheer power of it from your little hands um, may maybe have crapped, cracked a uh, rib um, or something like that. So he's going to have to make his another endurance check against your original roll um, to see whether or not he um, can carry on fighting. Um, yes, now I've made that now. So he'll be carrying on fighting unless you use a point of luck. You can re uh, reverse it. If you reverse it, it would still succeed because it'd be higher than yours. Um, um, I, I think I'm going to... Because I already got the stun location. He's just not downed. Yeah, Correct. so so he's currently... Um, he can't attack for 1d3 turns. Um, but oh, if... Can I roll that for you? Um, yes, please, yeah. Heck yeah, one turn. <laughs> um, if you um, if he fails his endurance roll, he is actually unconscious for the number of minutes equal to the amount of damage it's sustained in the attack. So, uh, if I can still do that, actually, I'll give a, a point to reroll. See if I can get um, since I can't reverse it and win. Um, I'll give a point to have him reroll. Yeah, by all means, here comes my reroll. 78, 78, 78. Oh. <laughs> he actually did guy. he actually did better on his reroll. <laughs> <laughs> his pancreas is only bruised. Uh, yeah. Um, but he, he is um out of it for what did you say, one turn? Yeah. Caught him off bounce a little. Okay then. Um that's cool. So um bracive. Um, Brace of going for the attack. Does anyone have can on our uh on our Discord that we definitely don't have secretly? Um, did anyone share with me the uh specials? Because I, I always forget. I want to see if there's ones like use body use like use body as a cover or something. Have you not download the free PDF of this game? <laughs> Uh, it's been for well, yo, I do have that, but it's where, uh, whatever. I'm just gonna go for the tech, you know. Look okay, yeah, let, let's go for that first, and then I'll call out the specials yeah. for you. I just want to see if I can use like body as a shield or something. I can tell you now, there is no <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, no, they're on page 79 of the free Mithras and um, classic fantasy imperative. Okay, you want to know. <laughs> Uh, so you you swing and miss. Are you just going to? I'll uh, I'll let the I'll let the miss happen. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. But I'm going to try to parry it. Okay. That's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody give me a, a a look point to reroll, please? No. <laughs> In the last adventure, I nearly disarmed you. This is my aim at the moment <laughs> to actually disarm you in some way. Um, okay, then. Um, skeletons uh, next. Um, this guy is up to, this is guys coming into number two. And uh, he's reloading two. And I'm going to put. Um, this guy onto the map um because you know roughly where he is um at the moment um this was why i kept asking you to make um sneak rolls mm -hmm. uh because i i had somebody up that tree so if you came in if any of you had failed then i i would have zapped you um so oh this guy here this guy here can't do anything for this turn uh, due to the, his cracked rib. Um, so he's now out of that, um, out of that um, stun there. And that's it. Uh, we're all real. Oh, yeah. And my, my little skeleton here, he's used one action to parry. 
Um, but he'll use his other action point now to attack you, Bracev. Come on. Poo. And misses. Uh, so that's it. Um, Caramel, you're up. Can I use my free uh, parry? Were, yeah. Actually, no, wait. wait. Um, I'll say my free parry. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Who? I'll yeah. say my free he does. Right. Bracev has a free parry that doesn't require an action point or anything like that. It's all right, right. Sam. I like it. Um, um, Caramore. Well, I think it's fairly obvious that I'm going to have a go at this guy. Okay. <laughs> Just if to let you know. Stand, all but helpless in front of me. Be, it would be rude to not, not to swing at him again. Oh, that, that, that's a hit. And that's another hit. That is a hit. hit. Can I just say that Darth in the, sat, uh, in the ch chat is rooting for skeletons getting a disarm too. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I have huge masculine hands, sir. <laughs> Each of my oh, fingers have, have abs. You can't afford to be disarmed. We've only got two each. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Um, so you've um, hit... So you got um, special. Um, look, choose. Uh, you got a special hit location, then damage for me. Yeah. Um, you want to whack him on the head again, but you just think. Yeah, it... I think I, I'm torn. But still, again, I'm torn between some location for whether I do hit him and whacking him on the head. Um, you could also stab him in the stomach. You can't really stab people with a quarter stop. You could go. Yeah, you, you could swing. Stab get a stomach, well. though. You could wing it. It depends how strong you are. <laughs> There's also bash, um, which depends on how strong you are. But if you want some space from people, you can always try and move them with bash. Mm -hmm. So uh, a stun location to the abdomen. Um, the the defender is staggered and winded and may only be able to to, to defend. Uh... I do get an endurance yeah, roll to try to prevent let's, that. Let's go with a stun location. Stun location, then. Yeah, so you, it's just you need... because I haven't used one yet. Okay, then. So roll a 1d20 for my hit location. Ooh. Ooh. That's, that's lucky. Uh, I think that's in his um, chest, is it not? Uh, no, uh, that's an arm. Left arm, apparently. Uh, left arm, the, the arm with that doesn't have a weapon in. Yeah, yes. Yeah, <laughs> the, the useless arm to hit, yes. <laughs> Somebody in the chat just said, I hope the Skellies are not is not a drunkard. He might have gone for a six pack. He might just <laughs> is, oh. is a, uh, a stomach of muscles. Um, oh, 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 oh. Well, at least I got slightly better damage this time. Um, oh, that's interesting. Um, so that's in his left arm, isn't it? Now that is actually that actually takes him down to negative hit points. Um, so the f in that location. So the first thing I need to do is roll endurance against your original attack roll, which was eighteen, to see whether or not I've got a stun in there. Right, so I fail that, okay? I've also got to roll again for my wound, but I succeed in my wound. So um, his left arm is now um, not usable um, uh, at all for a number of turns equal to the damage inflicted. Um, so for four turns, he's not allowed to use his left el his left el his left arm, not not just the elbow. Um, brilliant, um, Idaho. I am still going to move. Um, I want to help brace you out. I can't get. I can't make a a, um, a quick move because I can get to. Oh no, I can't. Hang on. One, two, no, there. Yeah. So you can you can move your second part of your movement if you wish, um, and then that that will take uh, the so you'll move oh, half so, yeah. Ha, yeah so that's half you is that half your movement that is yeah, yeah yeah okay then so that's it so you just go into combat but no hitting at that point okay um, I just need to check um, what this spell 
does um, on that Cap floor. Captain, there's a message from Mr. Pickles for you with a link for the specials. I got it. I saw it. Oh, yeah, you got it. You. If you notice yeah. on the specials, there's actually one that says, um, use body as shield. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> perfect. Perfect. And it says all you have to do is uh, barely hit him. Got it. That, that's right. I, uh, I wrote it on a pencil. But it, uh -huh. it, in the yeah. In the last column, it says GM only, just so you know. <laughs> just so you know. Do you know, I've just realized there is, in classic fantasy, a light repeating crossbow. Yeah. I am going That's to nice. have all my mobs have that now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, Can I get do, a repeating sling? I was going to say, is there a sling that does that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> this lady has like a clip of rocks. And sh a small uh, child follows behind you, loading sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just fill it with buckshot and just, you know. Yeah. Okay, then. Um, so we're going back up to the round for turn two. And we're coming straight down to you, Belinda. I can, oh, sorry, Belinda and Belle. I can guess what you're doing. You can use whatever name you prefer. Um, I'd like to do a quick move and remind everybody of the process. Um, yeah. <laughs> step one, take the rock out of the pocket. <laughs> and that's all I can do. That's all you can do. Okay, then. And moving up to um, Bracive. Uh, Bracive going for the attack again, but now it's going to be possible for this guy to even try to parry it. Correct. So he... How embarrassing for him. Unless I completely screw up the roll, then how embarrassing for me. Yeah. Um, yep, yeah, that does hit. That does hit. Um, so I need a choose location. I need a hit location, a special hit location damage. Uh, I can choose location head because um, I want everyone to fear me again. So and you, and you really go. want to splatter Ida with blood, don't you? Um, I'm maybe <laughs> uh, I'm hoping that with, with my arc, I splatter the blood towards the uh, the wagon, the, the carriage, the wagon. Yeah. Right. Um, so choose um, your hit location is going to be head. What? Okay, then. I think. I think. By blood... the way, just to make sure everyone knows, that's kind of a bad roll because I got two ones in that. Uh, two ones. Two ones, and and that's still a bad roll. That's still considered yeah. a bad roll for me. Yeah. Um, but it's overkill, isn't it? Because you should go slice. Um, Skelly chatted the saying Skellies have um, blood, question mark. Um, it's just because <laughs> they are followers dressed up in skeleton outfits. And they're sort of like necromancer fanboys and girls. Um, yeah, so you slice um, on this actually will knock him back. And as well, because it's over the 13, it will kill him. And his head is probably um, over um, here somewhere. And either there is definitely a, a spray of arterial blood in almost like every direction um, as Bracive takes off another head. Um, the, oh, the horse here um, panics mm -hmm. and pulls and actually dislodges itself from the ground and turns and starts to run um, into the back where you've come. The horse to behind who can see this um, as well fails as well and is uh, heading off uh, in a random direction. And so that's that. And yeah, that's your that's your combat action done, isn't it, Bracey? So we're coming yeah. to skeleton followers. Uh, so this is round three for that one, round three for that one, round two for this one. Um, oops, sorry, that says went two. Um, um, the one in front of you um, can't use his arm, but it's still actually up, Kaimor. So he's going to take yeah. a swing at you. Swing! But misses, just, just miss, misses as his sword, short sword slices 
thin airs, mo almost like straight in front of your nose, and you watch it go. You watch it go um, past, and yeah, Carrymore, it is your. Turn. Well, I shall swing back at him. Yeah. It's not original, but it so far has been moderately effective, at least. Yep, that that's a hit. To be. That's a hit. You, you you could use a point of luck here to reverse it. Um, just, yeah, just to point that out as an really option. I'm not saying. Yeah. yeah. So that would then it, that would make it a crit. So instead of one special, you get two specials. Mm -hmm. So one of the most popular uh, crit specials is max damage. Um, so your weapon would do the maximum kind of damage it can um if you have a a damage modifier you would roll that separately so you could do choose location head max damage um if you want to use that point of luck to make it a critical if not it'll only be one level of success so you can only do um a normal yeah. special at that point I'm thinking what I should have done last time, but I wanted to play with stand location. What I should have done last time is choose location and gone for the abdomen where he's already badly um, injured. So he, he's actually um, pretty uh, beaten up. Um, his abdomen is he's he's had a, a, a knock to the head and his left arm. So there's two areas that are in negative hit points already. Uh, decisions decisions i think i think i'm going to use that luck point why not i'm going to use that luck point and i'm going to go for the crit and i am going to indeed maximize damage against his head okay then um so yeah so what's your maximum so damage it's going to be eight eight nice um and da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah okay then so that um actually do you have a damage modifier i do not have a damage okay. modifier. Um, so that actually takes him into a major wound um so um if he um if he fails his endurance check um he is automatically killed if not he is just not unconscious for quite a long time. Either um, one will do me. So what was your original? Oh, so I must get a crit that's higher than four. That That's what uh, I need to do, which I can do because my skill level is, oh, no, it's endurance, isn't it? Um, my endurance is 54. So I can, it is possible for, for is, me to do chance. it. But not today, there, there not isn't. Uh, Medi, <laughs> um, Lisa's in the chat, by the way. Hi, Lisa. She said, have you got that wallpaper up yet? No, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, and there's the corner is laying down a bit. We need to fix that. He, he is actually, your strike to the head um, actually hits him. Did you strike him on his head or push your stuff into his face um i think probably it, it's going to be a, a swing with the end of the staff into the side of his head yeah and he's just all like go ah. you you hear a slight snap of something round his spinal column and a, a bit of indentation in his skull and he looks at you wide eyed for a moment and then he doesn't fall to the ground he just slumps slumps to the ground <laughs> uh, and then that's it and um ida we are up at, with you mm. Mm. but basic i wish you wouldn't do that around me <laughs> and, and that's, that's my free action and the next thing is i'm going to move to the back of this Oh, uh, I'll move the skeleton. There you go. I'm going to move to the back of the um, the carriage. Okay, then. Um, that's brilliant. So that's the end of um, that round. So we're going back up to the top. So this is round um, four, um, where we start from. Okay. Let's, let's make abrasive into a pin cushion um, because my... Um, 
my watch me call is it I'll reload it three rounds gone um so here we go abrasive uh, you know these are coming to you by the way um oh good grief <laughs> what, are they going to begin the round Yes. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Wait, when yeah, I get yeah. that, when I get there. Sorry. Can we uh, save that rule? Though? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the one where the crossbow just kind of crumbles like it's made of paper mache. Do, yeah. do you want to know what I was going to do? Just out of interest. I was going to roll his athletics. And if he failed, he actually falls out the tree. That that's what I, that that could still happen. That that was, that was going. So, yes, I got overexcited there. Um, I know. I know. Yeah. Bell. Well, now that I have the rock out, I put it in the sling. <laughs> uh, that's my turn. Um, Bracive. Make sure to lick the rock from luck. Um, that's the next round. Yeah, yeah. How, how, how far can I, if I, without needing to attack, how far can I uh, move in a uh, round? You can move your normal movement rate with no attack, so that would be 20 um, feet, so four squares. That's walking. Okay. And does diagonal, like, I know I kind of asked last time, but it's kind of, very I, fine. I am, more, I am more than happy for you to move however you wish. Okay, so if I do one, two, three, four, does that work? Yeah, you're hiding behind yeah, Ida. Yeah. Or the wagon, at least. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so we, we are now saying that you both got cover. Um, mm -hmm. from the uh, missiles, but that does not mean they cannot hit. Um, it just means that it increases my difficulty and and it's probably your top half that are covered. Um, so we'll probably do a lower um, roll. Um, I just like the fact that he's on the opposite side of you, Ida. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, my, my hero. <laughs> 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 um, um, I don't, just to let you know, um, Brace, if you can't parry um, incoming missile pa um, fire, um, Ida, of course, you can. Indeed, yep. Um, so you can um, parry yeah. if you wish. Um, so these are the two that is, are coming in. Is it my turn now? Yes. Um, so here's the first one. Um, so that's going to hit um do you wish to um parry it i do me sorry yeah uh, no no I'll, I'll take it okay then um so that will come unless it's really high damage no and then, then you'll change your mind <laughs> yeah um uh, so here's it goes into your 15. oh right arm the one thing i've not got blocked I <laughs> <laughs> it's all right uh, it, well, I couldn't. It's got it's got a mace in it, hasn't it? So I couldn't block it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah it's it takes three points of damage. It puts three right. points the, of damage in that. This this crossbow bolt comes zigging to, uh, zanging towards me and just bounces off my scale armor. But yeah, you're you're protecting, uh, mm. brave here. This, I'm a hero. The, I'm a the, heroine. The second one, I'm, I'm uh, the second one misses because I'm at hard to hit you. Uh, so, but it does sort of like fly by. Uh, but yeah, you are protecting like anything. Um, Caramon, you're up. I am going to, uh, I'm effectively going to take a quick move to stand above the guy that I've just knocked down because I'm hiding behind this horse. <laughs> I know there's a crossbowman somewhere over that way, so I'm hiding behind the horse. Yeah, okay, then. So um, you and then. That, that's just a quick move to get in there, and I'm going. I'm assuming the horses, the horses are tied up, so I'm going to untie this horse. Oh, just ping it again. The one nearer to you. Uh, yeah, yeah. This this one that this I'm one. Yeah. hiding behind. I'm going to untie it so that I've got a mobile piece of cover. Um, nice. Yeah. Okay then. <laughs> um, so as you you um, reach down and untether it, and at that point. We won't do anything this round uh, with that. Um, but we will go on to you, Ida. 
Yeah, who's now toying with the idea of pulling out her crossbow, but oh, yeah, it's it's the whole three load thing that always gets me. Uh, yeah, that, it's it, so much it, fun though. It, it it is <laughs> especially especially if you're loading, you can't parry. No, exactly. Um, you in which case, ah, uh, in which case, seeing the. Do you want me to make a perception check for him? Uh, no, you can see that one. That's the that one wonderful. that you got the crit from. Yeah. Yep. He's going to befuddle. Nice. That's my new go to. You're not going to hit me anymore. You see him so well. You see the tear going down his eye for seeing oh. both his friends die earnestly. Um, I'm going to take minutes now. I'm, not. <laughs> I'm, going, to, uh... I'm going to take six hours. <laughs> yeah, six hours. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going. I'm going to use a point of luck and and just hopefully my, my that Nisa is there to to help me out. Okay. And she, yeah. Uh, so this one up here that you saw with your wonderful eyesight is uh, befuddled at the moment, and that takes us back up to the top of the round to combat turn two. Um, Bell. Um, I would like to. Well, actually, can I ask, uh, has Bell been sort of aware that crossbow bolts are flying? Oh, most definitely. Okay. Um, then uh, I'd like to, one, um, reload, of course. Yep. Um, and that would be the moment where I kiss the rock and it, and it's now fully in the sling. Yep. Um, and then the second, I'd like to use a free action and do like a tactical perception. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because I have the ability to climb walls, and I'm thinking maybe there's branches in this tree I could try and climb up which, to get a better angle. Which tree you you? The one I'm touching with my back. Uh, uh, this one. Yeah, yeah. You you roll roll a perception. What do you want for the perception check? I want to see if there's a path up that I could climb to get a height advantage okay, then. and yeah. then potentially be able to to snipe from the trees. Okay, then yeah. Well, roll, roll your perception. Um, yes, there is a way up. You can do it, but as you're peering up, you see there is <clears throat> up there a follower, a skeleton follower who's busily reloading his crossbow bolt at the moment. Can I do a double take, or is that a <coughs> an action? Uh, that's <laughs> like the... you could look up. Uh, you could just <laughs> sit with your mouth open for a while. That's absolutely fine. Um, that's you done and bracive. You're up. Uh, I'm going to try something interesting. See if it works. You're not uh, good. abrasive. <laughs> That's can be interesting, all right? I don't know. Um, I'm assuming this is like one of those uh, carriages that have doors on both sides. Um, yes, it does. And if you remember, the doors are shut, and there's um, like a window, but it has a curtain across it. Um, I'm assuming dude, I don't really know anything about carriages in real life. Do they have locking mechanisms or no? Um, some, some they they could be locked from the inside. That's just with a simple catch. Um, it, there, you you don't see a keyhole on the outside. Of course, they could be um, locked by magic as well. Um, I'm gonna just attack the door right here with my axe. Yeah. Tear it and, uh... off. Tear it <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. Um, go for it. Well, yeah. well, your um... my axe is probably a little more terrifying than just pulling it open. Yeah, you um, do just roll some damage for me. All right. Yeah, and you you swing your um, axe; it goes chunk um, straight um, into the um, wood. It goes. You feel it go straight in the door. Um, it's because your axe is more of a, a slicing or cutting and thing. This the axe goes into the door, really um, up to almost your shaft. Um, that was such a good um, shot. You do notice that the door splinters um, across. A good yank on this would probably take the door off its hinges. Um, That's I'm for. Yeah. Um, so. Um, onto the skeletons. Um, he does that. He's befuddled. 
he does that. Uh, brilliant. And he's dead. Um, so, um, Calmore, you're up. Ah, right. Um, okay, I'm going to assume I don't know that the guy up the tree there is befuddled. So I'm going to continue with what I was going to do, which is I'm also headed for the uh, um, for the carriage. But I'm taking the horse with me, so I can okay, yeah, keep so... it between me and the crossbowman in the tree. Fantastic. So roll your um, animal handling skill. Yes, this is probably where it all goes horribly wrong. Is that a, a professional professional skill? Because if so, I don't have it. You don't have it. Okay, then. No. So I've you... got ride. <laughs> <laughs> you... Okay, then. So um, roll your ride at Formidable, therefore. It's not going to work. No, no, no. Um, so you sort of like start to sort of like bring the horse round and the, the horse sort of like rises up uh, uh, what do you call it when a horse rises up on its back legs rears Re is it yeah. just rears when it's yeah it's, uh, yeah um and it's so, so can you just make a brawn check for me please almost certainly not <laughs> terrible <effort. laughs> no, look at that. yeah and he, he sort of like rears up and um well, as, you try horse, to temporarily. <laughs> as you try to move it uh, you could you could uh you could use a point of luck if you wish. Um, no, no, no. I'm, I'm using too much luck. Okay, so it's all like rears up, and as it rears up, the the reins come out of your um, arm hands, yeah, yeah. and the the horse is off. Um, just when that horse um, sets off, I'm just going to roll the willpower for the for the other horse. Um, we. Uh, I know it says skeleton follow, but five <laughs> actually does keep it um, in in check. Um, so so that's absolutely uh, fine. That one's still there. And um, Ida, I um just to let you know, your your mob is still befuddled. By the way, yes, indeed, because there's I... been no offence. I didn't class. Um, Bracive hitting the door as an offensive action, so he's actually still befuddled. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to... I wanted to keep that carriage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to walk around this side and open the door. Um, yeah, um, so you open the door. There, there's quite, uh, as you look inside, there's quite a, a lush interior. It's very black and deep red. Um, you can see that there's... Uh, seems to be some kind of a desk or something like that and padded couches um that's all you can um um see at the moment and well, just no, you... nobody in there um it, literally just you... no, all right first glance sorry yes yeah yeah yep. it appears empty at a first glance Ooh. i love it when i say that it appears empty um um <laughs> bell New combat I'm round. Going to, I'm going to change my plan here. Um, I, I'll let you tell me how how much time it'll take me to do this. I'd like to take my sling and the rock in it and like put it in my pocket uh, because my new goal is to quietly climb up this tree and just stab the guy out of the tree. Yeah. Okay then. Um, um, so hopefully getting my sling put away so that I can I'm not dropping it is what I wanted to be clear. About. Yeah, you I know you, take you, me can, you can um, just stick it in a pouch and start to climb with a quick movement. That's not a uh, a problem. So you're climbing with stealth, yeah? Correct. Um, using my my climb walls ability, and if I can, any sort of darkness I can use to help. Yeah. Um, so your climb wall skill will be limited by your stealth skill, if if that's possible. It's not. Right. Uh, wait, no. Uh, it might be actually. It is my my athletics is limited by my health here say again sorry or is it is it that my athletics is capped by my maximum stealth or yes is it my so okay so because in that case, i'm good yeah because you can't you're trying to be stealthy so it's limited by that skill as as you climb up 
And uh, my athletics is a 51 and my stealth is a 73. Uh, yes. So if it was the other way around, that would be bad. Yeah, but you're you're absolutely fine. So yeah. Um, would you like me to roll one of those? I both? would like you to roll your athletics. Unless is climb walls your a separate skill? Uh, no, and and it specifically says athletics is the one yeah. that I would use with that, climb walls. That's that's absolutely fine. Uh, big money, forty five. Um, yeah. So how far can you move? You'll be doing. Um, um, it what, doesn't specify. It'd be like a quick movement. Um, it'd be about five feet. Then I'm not penalized by my armor or uh, wearing any gear. You're just um, penalized by going um, slow. Yeah. Yeah. So you're five foot up. Um, brilliant. Um, Bracive. Um, my, your, uh, your my, do I have to do a brawn for door. this? Yeah, you do. Um, I'm going to do a brawn to, to take off the door and then get into the carriage. Okay. Then. So roll brawn. Yeah, go for it. Right. Please so, fail. Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> the yes. dice will roll in my favor soon. I'm sure of it. Um, so all of a sudden, um, Ida, you see the other side door break off um, and uh, you see uh, Braces step into the, um, into the wagon. Um, oh, Braces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, okay, then. Um, that's you. Do. We'll do this turn and then we'll break. Yeah, is that all right? Yeah. Um, it's just where I make a perception roll and see the dragon in the back of the thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know, you see Bracive on top of whatever was on the, um, yeah. in the thing. Okay. My, um, my archer, my crossbow, who's in the tree above, um, whatchamacallit, Bell is ready to fire. Can't see Bell, can't see Bracive, can't see Ida. But I can see somebody who's out in the open. And a crossbow bolt comes in. It was that hard, just to let you know. Uh, so it's coming towards you, um, Caramon. So you have a choice now. Yeah. Caramon, you can do one of two things. You don't have a shield, so you can't no, parry it. Can't. You can mm -hmm. evade. And so evade means you'll jump to one side, but you will be prone after it if you succeed. And that's just an opposed roll. So you would have to roll your evade and get higher than a 22. Yeah, so below my evade, but above the 22, yeah? Yes, you have to succeed, but get above 22. Or you can just take the hit. Um, I'm going to try and evade. Let's, let's give it a go. So that will take an action. Yeah. Um, yes. The highest score possible. Well, yeah, that's uh, as, as good an evade as I could do. Yeah. So you dive. That is the best role. Uh, you dive to, to... When you said it was might be difficult, I thought you had like 26 um, or, <laughs> so, or something like that. Um, so you dive to one side um, as the um, crossbow flies um past you i'm not going to say that it hits the horse i'm not going to do that so. <laughs> but no, it's aiming down at me so it's going to hit the ground yeah the horse, yeah yeah um so that's um him done um this one is doing that one this one now comes out of its befuddle um because of the offensive action um, so he will be ready to go next time. And Caramore, we come to you. Mm. Uh, Let's go get rid of this skeleton well, that's on the ground. There are, there are people um, shooting crossbows at me, so the obvious thing to do is to crawl into cover behind the carriage. Okay, yeah. Having temporarily forgotten that I know there's a crossbowman in the other direction as so well. So you, you, you can probably, <laughs> you can move under this part if you wish. Oh, now there's a good idea. Yes, I'm going to hide under the carriage. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you sort of like, you're already on the floor. So you just yeah, sort of like just shoot, Don't bother standing up. Um, just, shimmer just into it. And yeah, um, Ida, you're up. 
Um, I want to have. A you can see Bracive in the wagon now, by the yeah. way. Hi, Bracive. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I want to look around and see to see where this woman is because they're protecting this wagon. So why did she's got to be inside? Yeah, you um, roll a perception check. Nice. Okay, um, there's there's no woman inside at all. However, you do notice something, and you only notice it in a split second before Bracive actually comes in. <laughs> Um, on one side of the carriage, there was um, something that looked like a coffer or a chest. It's got a flip top lid, but you remember seeing these before um, in your church. It, it's like a container that is used to store holy books in, um, you know, let like the big ones that it has a little clasp on it and it, you see that it was already open and empty when you come to the door and then also an abrasive goes bang oh you know and it goes and uh, it shuts but it was definitely definitely open and definitely had something missing from within it and at that point we will um, take our break we will be coming up to turn two of combat round five. So we'll be back at 10 to the hour, people, and stream. Make sure you go away, stretch your legs, and grab a coffee, grab some toast or a crumpet or something like that, or um, have a smoke or whatever. And, yeah, we'll see you back at... I didn't think this was going to take this long. Brace if you need to get a missile weapon, I think. You know, take these. Um, he actually has he has some throwing axes he's about to bust out. He has oh. two throwing axes. Excellent. No, it it takes time to that you throw. Normally, just throw Bell, but she's too far away at the moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> just spiral her. <laughs> she did some excellent. Oh. That was cute. Brilliant. Great fun. Best time I've had in a long while. You could get like a a catapult. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why have a catapult when I have my and catapult her up. What's the range on your throwing axes? I can't imagine it puts, that. It puts they're, the bell in the they're actually catapult. not bad. I just looked it up because I'd re, re put uh, their range in. Um, it's close range is up to 30, 60, 90 for hand axe. Oh, yeah, 60, 90, and you can bleed with it as well. Yeah, that's that's not it's 1d6 and and gets it gets include my um damage modifier. Um, yes, yeah, it has a low force, but it, it's good, yeah. One d six. You really yeah. have a choice between bleed and uh, between treating it as a cutting weapon and a bludgeoning weapon, because if you bury the spin on it, you can hit with the backside of the um, the axe. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, that's but, kind of cool. Um, shame you can't impale with it. That's a shame. <laughs> yeah, it's not a spear. Mm. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. I should, I should just, you know, I should just have a few spears, you know, throw, throw yeah. them at javelins. Some javelins, yeah. Did yeah, one some of your javelins, yeah. Did one of your characters have javelins? That's Hazra. Well, oh, not javelins, has... but he has the, the spear throwing. He's a yeah. yeah. classic yeah. spearman. I, th I thought, actually thought one of us did have javelins as well. Yeah, carried three javelins around. It was, did I, did I play a, that, uh, that was in, when we played um, um, Pathfinder or D and D, one of those. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Anyway, round four. I've got peanut butter and marmite today. By the way, if you are marmite lovers, like uh, myself, <laughs> <laughs> strawberry jam. Do you have marmite in America? I don't no. think. We do, no, unless man. you go out of your way to find it. I think we have we have food in America. I think so. <laughs> they, 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 they tried to get it in Boston, but they sank it in the heart. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't really like tea either. No, it, 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 it tastes like gross Boston Harbor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, round five, turn two. Mithras, I hope never lasts this long. I really do. But <clears throat> Belinda, you are five foot up a tree. 
Um, I guess my question here is how much further does he look away from me? Like, is he really close or is he like a couple, couple, uh, good He's about away? another, about one more climb and you'll be at his feet. Okay. Yeah. My, my goal is still to climb up to him. Um, but I, uh, yeah, I just want to close the distance, I guess. So I'll, I'll climb up and uh, I'll attack if I can, or if that's next turn, then that's when I will. Yeah, so roll your um, climbing wall skill. Right. I can climb. I can climb. Psych. I'll use a point of luck to re-roll that. Okay. Ooh. There we go. Okay. So next round, you'll be able to... Um, Hit him. Embraceive, you are in the wagon. Um, uh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, I was just going to say to Caramore, um, Brace, uh, Captain Kangaroo has set coaches on fire before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, not feeling great about being under here now. Um, but uh. he, he didn't realise that inside the coach wagon was a young girl who actually <laughs> was burnt to cinder. Oh dear! Has to save parts of her body. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. that was good. That was Cyrus. That was a fun one. Yeah, Brace it. What are you going to do? Um, Brace is going to quickly take a gander, make sure there's no one hiding under the desk. Yep. Does he find anyone under the desk? No. No. So there's no one here. Um, Brace it. Well, then you can see Ida of at the other door. That's it. Well, Brace is then now going to uh, uh, take out one of his hand axes. I don't know if that takes, like, a thing to load. So you can drop your axe as a free action. And then, yeah, I might as well. And then you can draw out a hand axe. Yeah. Okay, then. Um, skeletons. Um, and he needs to do that. Oh, sorry. Let me do that. He needs to do that. He needs to do that. Okay. And um, Caramore, you are underneath. I used both of my actions, as I recall, didn't I? I used one to evade and one to. Oh yes. As a carriage. Yeah. So. So so that's it. Just, you're you're I'll, out. I'll just um, stay here quivering in fear. Yeah. You notice that as. Brace gets in the wagon. The the wagon dips slightly, um, and it seems to be rocking um, around a bit. Um, if but, the carriage is, is uh, rocking, don't come and knock it. Yeah, uh, let's just. That did happen as well in an adventure, did it not? Didn't Cyrus um, spend the night in the wagon with a woman? Cyrus has an interesting yes. history. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And she drained him of something, and yeah. we did a lot of tests to figure out what was wrong with him. Yeah, uh, but, but it was just Cyrus. There's a lot oh, of burning. Or not. There's there's <laughs> a lot of burning that. wagons with Cyrus. He's either burning the entire wagon or just you know filling it with burning passion. Um. <laughs> Cy Cyrus has a very has a lot of variety in his life, doesn't he? <laughs> <it? laughs> yes, I like He's to think a of it that spicy way. kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, Ida. Um, I am going to um, look at Brace and say, "Get stop rocking the carriage. And then I'm going to lean over and reach for this chest. Oh, yeah. Um, I did wonder when you were um, shielding him from all the missile fire, you, you were going to say, whatever you're going to do, do it fast, as you were shielding him from aliens. <laughs> but that would have been classic. Okay, then, we're coming up to um, round six, um, combat turn one. And, Bell, you are in attack range. Well, it's time to stab this guy, get a little sneak attack in, see if I can knock him out of the tree. Sounds good. Um, I'll try. Um, here is my... Yeah, forty-seven. Um, he he hasn't heard you coming up. Uh, Darth in the chat has just said, "I think Cyrus should be given a restraining order against wagons. You are not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> you are not allowed near them." Um, yeah. So he... that's only going to make him want to get in a wagon. Yeah, he doesn't like to be told to do so. <laughs> so you need uh, a special hit location and damage. 
Kyle. Um, yeah, I, um, let's see. What's a good special? Impale. Here? Uh, you know, you're not wrong. It's just, I'm not, fit. I'm not. It's a shame you can't trip. My brawn is a 12, and I don't really want to. Just Achilles, Achilles tendon. Just, just slice up his Achilles tendon. That's as far you can reach, anyways. Yeah, I probably can't use choose location head here. Um, yeah. I'll use bleed. At least not that head. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to use bleed. Okay. And here is my hit location. Uh, oh, you need to roll it on. Hit him in the... oh, that's all right. It, it, do, does the um, low work still you know the on your um oh no it works uh, for me it doesn't yes. work for you guys yeah i remember now yeah okay then that's fine um so you're hitting him in his three which is right a right. leg yeah which is good and we're doing I'm a not sure if you mean good for you or good for me but no um... I'm going to give this a, a one. This is number two if we um, ever need it. Um, um, yes, yeah, so I need some um, damn ouch. Yeah, that's a pretty good roll for me. Um, it's half damage. You know. So th three points of damage into his right leg. Okay, yeah. And he sort of like... Um, turns he saw like he slices into his leg and he saw like lets out a a, a bit of a, a whelp uh as he he does it and i need to make an athletics roll to stay in the um tree just uh, a future reference mr pickles there is one called silent takedown yeah i saw that too don't you have to be like an assassin or have like the perks no. to be able to use that is it must be surprised or unaware yeah oh is well, it is it a, a special rather than mm. a trait? Yeah, it's special. It's special, yeah. 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 Special I thought it was a trait. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a good rogue. Way to fail. Uh, yeah. So um, he he he's still in the tree, but he's got blood coming out of his lower shin now, and it doesn't look too good. Well, he's fine actually. That leg is all right, but it's not. It's only a minor wound. Um. So yeah, you have to roll endurance, don't you? For my uh, bleed. Oh yeah, do I do I do that at the end of the round? Or oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, uh, what you need to do is round. stealth up, move away, and you'll think oh, I've cut myself on a branch. Um, defend is it make trees. a roll versus attack not to start bleeding out? All right, so I'll make it now, and then it says uh, the start of each round. The defender loses one fatigue until collapse or dead. So I'll make it now. That's a good thank you. So what was your roll? 47. 47. Endurance. Um, here it comes. 47. Boom. Ooh. Now, see, if somebody in the chat had bought some luck for me, I could have reversed that and not be bleeding out. Okay, he's bleeding out now. Um, so the beginning of every round, um, each round, not turn, uh, I have to make a, I would lose one lot of uh, fatigue. Okay, then. Um, yeah, sorry. That's all you've done now is to brace if that's where we're at. Brace if, um He's going to open the door and then try to throw the axe towards this guy up here. Which door are you opening? The, the one uh, next to Ida. Yeah, so Ida stood in that doorway at the moment. So you can't throw over her head or anything like if, that. If you stand on the entrance where at your side, you should be able to throw over the top of the wagon. <laughs> yeah, it, it's very possible. <laughs> No, no uh, like, yeah, yeah. If you if you literally stand because you, the, the doorway is only going to be as it's not going to be a full height, is it? I would have thought. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, okay. I'm really tall. So the idea, what you're saying is that you're going to stand on the edge of the carriage there, so your head's above it, and then you're going to lob it uh, 
at this yeah. one um, here. Yeah, okay then. We'll have some difficulty modifiers um, coming up here. Uh, yeah, sorry. Everybody in the chat keeps saying, skeletons bleeding, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> so just so everybody don't knows. Them, don't tell them. <laughs> just the wrong way around. The rest of us are bleeding skeletons. They are um, followers of uh, what they think is a necromancer who's dressed up to look like skeletons, and so we call them skeleton followers. That's what we're we're talking, so... Um, just very juicy skeletons. Yeah. So which one? They're, which they're one? Wannabe skeletons, and we're helping them towards their goal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which which skeleton are you going for? I'm going for this one right here. Yeah. Okay then. So that would be in your medium range. Yeah. Uh, it's actually my short range. It's thirty feet. But that's as the crow flies, is it not? Because I've, oh, ele I've got elevation, elevation as well. Oh, okay. No, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you. Uh, you did. Who got the critical? Or Ida got the critical on seeing him, didn't? Didn't you? Is that right, Ida? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, but you... to be fair, it was seen seen the one further back. Oh no, was it that one? I thought it was the one at the top. I got the critical on. No, it's this one. But it this was one that did, one. Is, is the one that hit me. Yeah. Uh, so just to, if you ever do it, Ida, you do not have a difficulty penalty to hit him in the tree because you got that crit roll. Um, right. on it but um brace if you do and due to your unstable footing it's going to be a formidable roll from there hurl that axe and hope for luck big boy <laughs> don't say well, that <laughs> i'm doing it guys i'm just gonna do it all right <laughs> He chucks it up and it sort of like sails through um, the the branches. So um, obviously I can't evade because I'm in a tree <laughs> and I can't parry with my crossbow bolt. Um, so I need to take the hit. So you, you need uh, a special, but remember it has to be a, uh, a range special. So something appropriate. Um, so you can't do something like press advantage um you know or anything like that but you need a special hit location and damage let me just see really quick uh let's try a good special did you rapid reload to grab the other throwing axe you said you've got two i think marksman to... oh yes that's a nice one it says marksman to hone your aim what does that mean uh, it's like the choose location, but you only move one space of where you roll in your hit location. Yeah. Die. Okay. So, so if you roll, you would roll your hit location and say, for example, you got chest, you can move it up to the head. If you got abdomen, you can move it either to the legs or the chest. Arms can come into chest. Um, so it, I'll it's, do the, there's, there's uh, one called, I don't know if it works for, there's one called impact. Roll damage twice and take the higher. It's the impact with a telling strike. Okay, I'll do that. Impact makes more sense. I like that. Right. Hang on. Let me just grab that. Da, 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 da. I'll do my area first. Tell, tell me when you're right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, well, I, I know that you're doing... Um, I'm just trying to find this impact. It's on the special effects summary um, for... That you posted that might have been from um uh in space i just know oh. it was pinned oh yeah if you're referencing the one that i was referencing yeah it, th that's why i'm frantically looking in um oh, in the, yeah seem, so it could be. Classic fantasy imperative. pin yeah. down yes yes sorry so there's um so you marksman would be the one that you um could do you you can't okay. do the so, uh, well, uh, that's actually quite good, actually, because if you've marksman done your marksman on that, so that's a, um, a leg. Mm -hmm. um, that's so you can actually move that up to the abdomen. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, nice. Hit the right in the stomach. Um, let's do this. Because you're. Getting... I might have to add my my damage modifier to this because i don't think it naturally does it with range it, it, it should do if you've got it clicked i don't know how to get it clipped let me just have i'm just coming into your sheet 
Yeah. Uh... There's a toggle next to the dice that you uh. It's like a little. Plus oh, I see it. I see it. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. I pressed it. All right. Do you want it really clear? Yep. Uh, six damage. Yeah. Um, six damage into my abdomen. Um. Okay. Mm. So that takes it down. So that actually does give it a um a serious wound. So I need to roll against your original hit. Which was um, by, the, the, by the way, the, I, I I messed up on my roll. Um, I've actually pressed the one that involves my my great axe, so it should be thirty five, not forty, but still fit. Yeah, that my, that's absolutely right. Yeah. Wouldn't it just be your normal? Uh, what was your uh? So I do succeed in my endurance roll, but well, but because it's um opposed, yours actually um wins. Um, so da, 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 da. Uh, okay then. Um, he actually fails. Okay, so because it's in his abdomen, he falls unconscious for a number of minutes equal to the amount of damage sustained. So this axe sort of like hits him in the stomach and in slow motion, he just falls forward. And so like goes bam, bang, bang down, down the branches and then lands uh, on the ground dead. You will be able to retrieve your axe um, from him. And brilliant. Um, Skele um, skeleton followers. Um, so the the guy up at the tree, um, Bell. Um, he's going to try to do an unarmed attack at you. Cool. I have a I have a special because he's going to try to this. kick you in the face <gasps> uh, with with his um, foot. Bell's face. That's where eyes are. Okay. She's already a glee. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Very close <laughs> to that crit. I would like to use a special ability of mine. Oh, no uh, way. Called, I, I just purchased this in the last experience cycle. No way. <laughs> Dodger. Um, so it allows me to use my evade Tom, skill. Tom, yourself. Uh, oh, sorry, that would mean nothing to majority of people. It's from Oliver, and in Oliver, <laughs> well, there's a character memory, called. Yeah. Even um, who haven't seen it must know that the the artful dodger. Yeah. So, what does it allow to do? It allows me, um, as long as I'm wearing nothing more restrictive than light armor, which I am. As long as I'm unburdened, which I am, I uh, I can use the evade skill to dodge a melee attack without falling prone. Against a ranged attack, you only end up prone if you fail the roll. Um, right. So I'm just using evade with a little bit of flair. Yeah. Uh, Go for and it. And I believe I need to beat him here. Yeah. Which should be doable. Oh, yeah. So you, he sort of like goes to um, stamp down. I imagine you almost like move slightly away <laughs> from the tree, holding on to something, and then sort of like um, rock back. You know, I'm just going to give myself big axes next time and <laughs> kill people um, nicely. Um, I, I want Bell to like move to one side and then whisper, and then go stealth. <laughs> whisper what? I'm not here. Oh my god, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't catch that one uh, uh, at all. Um, um, crossbow bolt coming in to you, Ida. <gasps> From take it. I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I am gonna take it. Uh, okay. Uh, so this is coming to your. You're hoping for passive block with your shield in your sixteen. No, no. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, sixteen. Yeah, it is amazing as my shield deflects the uh, oncoming yeah. bolt. Yeah, uh, let's just see what smile it, confident. Yeah, mm. it sort of like wax it into your um um shield. Uh, you're definitely becoming somewhat of a pin cushion, and that's um, that's me done. Um, so, Camomore, you're up. Hmm. Still, distinctly dangerous around here. I am going to. Come on, you know you want to. Yeah. It's in range, Fireball. surely. Yeah. <laughs> 
You know, what, well, right at the moment, I'm not sure what Kerman uh, Kerman wants to do. So I think he's going to stay under the carriage for now. So he's going to dither. He's going to dither indeed. Yeah. Okay then. Um, he's dithering. Ida, you're up. Um, seeing where the crossbow came from, I'm assuming it's one over here. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna befuddle. I can't. Damage him from this range. Yeah, okay. Then. Um, you don't have like a shock spell like Bartaby. No, that, that's the thing. I don't <sighs> get anything like that. My my, my my cause wounds, I've got to walk up and go, Yeah, <laughs> you're not very well. And, and <laughs> yeah. touch them and touch yeah, them. Yeah, which, which I can do with my mace quite easily. Okay. So, um, uh, so uh, yeah, um, cast uh, your channel. Oh. oh, 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 oh. A point of luck. To realise what I've said wrong and re-say it and reverse it. Oh, that Leviosa as Leviosa. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wondered what you were talking about <laughs> there. Like, I, you, do you mean your... your... Yeah, reverse the role. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so... For honor. So what that be? Uh, 48. Yeah, that's... Gets... It would be 48, yeah. That's my willpower, isn't it, that I... Um, yeah, so he is now uh, befuddled. And put the befuddled symbol on him. And that's it. Uh, we're back up to the top of the round um, for round two. Um, Bell. I don't believe I have any actions. Um, I attacked and invaded. Oh, yes. So you're out of it. Bracive. Brace is muted. Brace is going to grab his second axe. Okay. And, oh, I bet you wish you had reload now because you could have just hurled it uh, now. Um, I, the skeleton followers now, I don't, I still do have a, a second um, action because I didn't parry your first blow, Bell. So um, this is an unarmed. Oh. <laughs> I feel there might be a point of luck coming my way. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make you re-roll that one. <laughs> so anybody who's watching this stream, if you see a star on it, it means it's a critical hit. Uh, you want me to roll it again? Take my luck point. Uh... Oh, here's a five. No, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, I, I fail on my, um, uh, my unlucky roll. Uh, oh. So, and person over <laughs> here, um, that befuddle spell, I'm going to say, is still on Ida because I don't think they physically be able to see what's going on up in that tree there. So yeah, he's I, still... I, um, yeah. I'm glad you agree. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was just going to cast another one. Yeah. <laughs> um, Caraman. Um, I, I think... Kelman has dithered it enough and is going to take his, his uh, life in his hands and climb out from under the, the carriage and stand up on this side over here. Nice. Uh, let me just take off your prone badge. Um, that's nice. Assuming uh, that will take my entire action. Yeah. Since I've got to clamber to my feet as well. <laughs> exactly. That's your action. Um, and you did a bit of quick move as well. Um, Ida. Um, Bracif, there's still one over there in, in, in the tree. Look, it's there. Um, I'm, with, with that, I'm just going to move into the carriage and sit down. <laughs> Take care of this from you. Uh, okay. uh, uh, brilliant. Okay, then. So that's uh, round six done. So we're on to round seven and we're back up at the top into turn one. And Belin Bell, you are up. I'm going to use my action to stab away. Go for it. Uh... <laughs> I will click that. Um, so if that happens, there is a um, a fumble. 
Um, so they can't, um, characters cannot use luck points or anything on fumbles. If it happens, it happens. Um, you do need to make me an athletics well, though, to stay in the tree. Oh, you swine. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you literally stole that that crit from the previous. Yeah. That's literally the other that, that was... <laughs> I'll take your crit. <laughs> um, um brilliant. Okay, Dan. Um Brasive, you are up. Brasive um is going to I don't know how how like is is there possible to to move and then attack in the same uh, turn only by a quick action, which would be one square. Uh, no, he, he uh, Bracev will get into the right position. He's going to one, two, three, four. He'll go there. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and get so ready that's for his the, action. The next yeah. attack. Yeah. Um. So um, that's um now that's um me. Uh, mm -hmm. for um, Skeleton Warriors. Um, so this is coming on to you, um, Bell. I've oh, missed. Missed. Yeah. Um, Things are going my way now. Uh, yeah. What? <laughs> um, Caramon. What a bad fumble. Caramon, sorry. Uh, wait, uh, uh, just, just to note that that guy should have a layer of fatigue on him now. Oh, yes. Uh, Thank you. It doesn't change anything here. But um, or that that happened, but uh, no, um, because he would just be. Um, but it's worth to remind me. Thank you. Let me just put. So he is now winded. Um, he it would be hard to hit there. Yeah. Um, um, he's nine on his uh, initiative when it comes down. Yeah. Okay. Then so he's now hard to hit. Thank you. Um, uh, Cavermore, I think we were with you. Yes. Uh, I think I want to. Dump my head down and run back to this tree over here where all the action is taking place at this end of the... Of the... Okay, yeah, so you, you can run there. Um, I, as you run across, the first thing that you notice is that this guy mm -hmm. is not there. <laughs> He's taken, uh, taken the opportunity to leg it very sensibly. I mean, yeah. Oh, Percy. Um... Um, yeah, so you can run there. That that'd be your. Um, how how much is your run? Um, yeah, that's a good question. So it's off the top of my head, I don't have a good answer. Uh, it'll be it'll, it'll be sixty. I that'll be it. So you'll run thirty yeah, this thing, which will take you there. So that's absolutely yeah, fine. Uh, yeah, that's why. That's and good. and Ida, you're in the wagon. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm in the wagon. I'm gonna hook up my mace onto my belt and I'm going to draw my uh, crossbow out. Uh, and then I'm yeah. going to start loading it. So if you sheave a weapon, <laughs> that would be an action. If you okay. drop a weapon, that's not an action. I'll sheave it. Okay. And then you would need another action to draw your sheave. crossbow. Yeah. 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 Okay, then. So we're going back. I'll take her minutes. Uh, <laughs> we're going back <laughs> up to the top. Um, Belind Bell. Um, I'm Make gonna go for the attack again. Do I still have my short sword? Um, yes, you didn't drop anything. I was going to make you fall out the tree. Uh, that would be that would be pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, um, and drop drop ten foot. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, that that is uh, a a hit. I'm going to elect that I can't parry because I'm kicking you with my foot. And I don't, I'm not going to parry your sword with my foot. Um, so you could do a special hit location and damage. The, the special will be, the hit location will be on the low side. So it either be legs or um, abdomen. Um, well, I see my path to victory. And that's by forcing you to parry. So I'd like to choose location, um, right leg, which I've already damaged, and uh, send some... More blood flowing. Uh, uh, right leg. Yep. Yep. Got it. Yep. And please be a four. Two. Uh, Dear. 
just cutting in your pant leg. Uh, which actually um, takes me exactly to zero points on that area, which means I must make a, a serious wound um, check uh, against it. So uh, what was your original? 36. Um, 36. And this will come up, need to be hard as well because of the um, fatigue. Um, yes, so he, yeah. he actually fails um, that. Um, so his um, limb is useless until back in the leg will fall prone. So I am going to get him to make a formidable athletics um, to see whether or not he, um, which will actually be Herculean because he's Ooh. one layer higher. <laughs> and he, he does manage to keep in the tree despite his um, leg going. And would you like to roll a 1d3? I would love to. A one. Yeah, okay then. So he's out of it for, for the next turn. Um, Bracev. Bracev, uh... Are you hurling? Yeah, I'm hurling. You, you could Throw literally it. take minutes, because he's like... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... If I take minutes, he'll shoot at me, so I'm just going to roll it. 35, so this. into me, it's into medium range. Um, yeah, that, that, that will hit. Um, all right, He's befuddled, this. so he can't actually um, parry or anything like that. Um, so need... Any range attacks only stuff? No. Marks Nothing crazy. One. I'll just do marksman. Have I, I did. Did you want to say something? Yeah, befuddled targets can still act in self defense, but cannot initiate. So he can still parry. Uh, no, because he got no shield. Oh, of course, he hasn't. Sorry. So he could fire. evade. He could evade, but it would mean <laughs> chucking himself <laughs> out of the tree. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have to do it head first as well. <laughs> <laughs> he feels the evasion and chuck himself into the axe. <laughs> um, 14. Um, That's uh, right arm. Uh, that right arm. Can arm. I do... Can, can, can I move it to the head or can it go at least to the chest? It can go to the chest. It can move one step so it can go into his chest. Yeah, but actually, now that I think about it, chest, well, it depends on how much HP he has on his chest. More let's just let's, find out. Do some damage. Let's and... let's let's kill that arm. Let's just destroy that arm. See if I lop it off. So hang on. What what was you what was your special that you used? Um. What, what is there any other special I can use? Because I was about to do that, but well, yeah. But specials have to be announced before the hit roll. Got it. It was going to be marksman. Was going to be my special. Yeah. So it's going into his um chest. Okay. So do some damage. Let's do it. Um, sorry, let's take it forever. I'm just checking on something. But do do some damage. Damage. Uh, oh well, it it won't actually. Um... Uh, yeah, it it do, won't actually matter where it it's actually hitting. Him because both of those will give him a serious wound, um, oh. which means he then needs to roll his endurance against a what? Forty-four. Uh, a forty-four. <laughs> 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 he's not actually. Um, That's a fail, uh, though, isn't it? Um, no, because he's not actually hard. He's not hard. Yeah. It's, it's the, the other, other one, one that's hard. Um, but I'm using the same token. So he actually gets 43 out of 54, uh, which means he succeeds. So he's actually, he stays in But is it opposed or no? Um, oh, yes. Because he's got a 44. 44, yeah, yeah. no, um, that's higher. right. So he actually will lose um, consciousness. Yeah. And we'll say that he's um, out of uh, the the tree. I'm going to say at this point, um, Bell, that you you finish off your the one in the tree, and you actually either 
stab its foot or his second foot or it just <laughs> slowly loses fatigue and carrying money all of a sudden from up in the tree, this body just goes, and it goes splat um, ne next to you. And uh, well, you look up to see Belle up there. Jabby, jabby, jabby. jabby. <laughs> Got here a moment too late, it seems. <laughs> Um, excellent. Okay, then. So there is um, one horse still here. Um, this, if you remember, is like a food wagon. Um, you're in this wagon, Ida, and um, Percy, you can't seem to see Percy, but um, he does reappear from behind the... Um, behind the tree trunk. It looked like he just um, moved out of the way of the line of fire. Um, and he sort of like, his wrists look like um, he's been tied, um, but there's been slashed with um, the rope, not the wrist, by Bell. And um, he's managed to wriggle out of his ankle ropes. So here's that. I'm going to take that skeleton off. Um, I'm always assuming, unless I say otherwise, Brace, if that you re retrieve your hand axes. Um, if it ever goes somewhere that you can't retrieve it, then I'll tell you at that point, if that makes sense. So, you know, if you throw it on somebody on a bridge who then falls off down a cavern, then the hand axe will not be retrievable. Um, yeah, so well done. That combat is over. How many rounds was that? Was that eight? Seven. We're just going into well, eight rounds, um, which almost eight. Which remember is only like what for forty seconds. Yeah, uh, it's less than a minute. Uh, well, yeah, you, you know all that. Happening. I killed killed four skeletons in forty seconds. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and I can imagine that's what you're bragging about now, uh, um, abrasive. Yeah. Um, let's go to Ida first because she's busy in the wagon. And tell me, Ida, what would you like to do? Um, well, hearing the sound of combat has now gone, um, I'll put the crossbow on the table and I wish to open this box. Yeah, so um, it looks like it's had some kind of a lock um, on it originally, but that seems to be, it hasn't been shut again and locked. It just closed beforehand. Inside, it's sort of like um, blood red velvet. And there's a definitely, uh, it looks like it's been shaped to hold uh, a, an ancient tome or something like that. Um, you can see that it's actually been molded round and something will have sat in there. It looks very much book shape, about, the, about so wide if you're watching your camera, yeah. uh, about so big, and it looks quite thick. Quite meaty, yeah. Yeah. Not big enough for okay. pizza delivery, though. Yeah, it's not pizza. <laughs> um, there, there is something else. Um, let me just... That's that, that's that. Uh, yeah, so there's that. There, there's also what appears to be... Um, a very simple hand-drawn map in there. There's several glass jars that appear to have bits of animals or people or insects. Um, there is also what appears to be a, a jewellery box. And the only other thing that you can see in there is an assortment of bones. Um, I'll have a look at the jewellery box to see if there's anything worth giving to the local charities. Um, yeah, it's actually locked. <gasps> oh, I'll, I'll keep that to one side. I'm sure Belle will be able to play with that. Yeah. Um, um, okay. Anything else you I'll, would like to do? Yeah, I, I want to... Um, ah, da 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 I want to shout over to No. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. Um, I'm sorry. I, I, was, I was having a, a moment of like, oh, I'll, and then like, no. And then it went. Uh, yeah. Um, um, brace while if, this happened, I, I brace if, my axes. Yeah, you'll be collecting your axes while Ida's doing this. Yeah. Um, Bell, you'll be climbing down the tree. Um, Caramore, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to head over and examine the damage to the carriage. Kelmall still has hopes of being able to salvage this carriage. Um, the yeah, so the, carriage. the door at your side now is completely off its hinges and sort it's of like true. lying here, um, splintered and bashed um, quite beyond uh, repair at the moment. Did you, <clears throat> did you have to do that? Yeah. I'll I... do it to destroy two bloody skeletons at once. I'm not doubting your combat prowess. You've done a sterling job here. It's marvellous. Well done. Well done indeed. But That's right, yeah. the carriage That's was right. not a threat. The carriage well, was I thought, loot. I thought the necromancer lady was in there. Well, yeah, okay. That I will I will allow for that. So did I. Do, do you know what's even funnier, Caramore? The the doors mm -hmm. were open. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> they weren't even locked. <laughs> Well, I didn't know that. I thought be, if she was in there, she'd probably lock it. She saw me. She saw such a threat I was. You know, whatever. Well, you are whatever. down the tree now. What would you like to do? I want to go to Percy um, and kind of approach him and say, good job not screaming. That would have made things more difficult for us. I, I can't believe. My face. I really can't believe that she treated me like this. Who? Who is she? I need to know more about this because we're my, on a rampage as you can see my my Not, mi where, who is she where is she my my mistress Jesselbell candlewick said i had failed her and she would think about how my how to punish me in due course what i did everything she asked mean? get somebody to get the red mushrooms Did she say that we didn't get them quick enough? Well, obviously not, because they weren't there when she arrived. Well, the, yeah, it took us like a day to get up to the mountain. Then we were hanging out there. We took a nap. It was a power nap, but then we took another day to get back and down. Then, and... and then she put a curse on the whole village and then bound me up and said that she will think about what torture or nastiness she will put on me in due course uh t tell tell me more about this curse uh, what what exactly is this curse that's put on the town that we totally broke the, the, if they talk to you guys the people who were there before then they would have their eyes burnt out uh by, by your mistress or like just spontaneously they I, well i i wasn't st i i didn't look at anything i tell you i was absolutely petrified okay um how long have you been working for the, your mistress about, about five years okay so you know her pretty well well i uh, I, I was her confidant. She she would tell me things and and well, with now I I'm just a a tied up dog. Information source. That's what you are. You're an information source. Uh, well, yeah, that is true. Uh, we would like more information. Why don't you come over to the carriage, get a little bit more comfortable? I mean, our priest can uh, make sure your wrists aren't as chafed as they look they're making my wrists hurt to be uh, he, he says i'm not getting in the carriage why because there there's several wards on there that alerts her to anybody who enters <laughs> <laughs> i think that ship sailed already well, let's just go over closer to it so that or, or can she hear from the carriage now too he's willing to oh he's, he backs away from brace if he, he's quite happy to go that close Okay. Um, I bring everybody closer into the conversation so at least they can hear him more clearly. I want her to come here. 
so I could slice her throat. You know, that was so funny because Bracey talk and Cowboy moved, and it looked like <laughs> Cowboy was sort of like Im- impersonating Brace. <laughs> Great impression. <laughs> it's a skill. <laughs> Sorry, Brace, what did you say? I want her to come here so I can slit her throat. He just sort of he just saw sort of like look looks worried. Well she's she's not Where here. Would she be? Well, she, Where is she? She no, Percy, she's gone. No, no. Yes, she, yes. She's gone to her father's house. What was that? Did, did you see her go? Yes. <laughs> she, Where is he, her father's he, house? He, he points to the south. Through there, points to the south. She gathered up a whole load of things, including a rather big book, said something about resurrecting her father, who apparently is some kind of ancient lich of a necromancer, and with some of her followers headed to the house. Right. Dang it. That's not good. No, No, that's not good. It's not good at all. No. Um, Well, let's go find her. First, I'm going to look for the other hawks. And you, (laughs) too. Look for, look for the I'm, least sorry, bloody. I, I'm having difficulty understanding Bracive as well. <laughs> look, for, <laughs> look for the hawks. I'm going to find the other horse. Horse, got you. Then you two, you look for the some like least bloody uh, outfit of the skeletons, and then we'll go find her and we'll infiltrate and we'll murder her on the start. I, I, Percy I think, just says, I think one of us dressed as a skeleton. I, I, I think that would be a wonderful idea, and, and I could stay here and l- no, look, look after you the stay wagon. In the couch. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll just stay. I, I, I'll stay here. I don't mind at all. No, you come with us. You know where it is. He says, "Fair lady, could you could you deal with my poor, poor, sorrowful wrist? I've taken such a battering." I, I feel I have rope burn on top of rope burn. If you don't get in the curtain, I'll break person. your bloody wrists. You, you need to come closer, though, because I'm I'm sitting down. He, he's sort of like, you know when people sort of like shimmy closer but try to keep the top of their body <laughs> yeah. away? And away. he's sort of like, <laughs> he's sort of like, he gets sort of like, he has sort of like thrusts out his um, um, wrists. Hmm. Um, I... I- I'd like to do two things here, if possible. Yeah. I'll, I'll cure him, but I also want to remove fear. Okay, then. Um, I would like you to do one thing before that. Do you have a, a healing skill? Um, a proper healing skill? I like a pro- first aid? Uh, yeah. Do, so do you have... First aid would be the standard. Do you have healing as a professional skill? Oh, I do. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I do. Yes. So... Um, Roll your um, healing for me, please. Yeah. Um, before you do anything, his wounds aren't bad. If I give you uh, an idea that he's probably lost one hit point, oh. um, if that you think, I mean, you've seen a lot of wounds in your in your travels. Is it is it sort of a kiss it and say, there, 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 it'll be all right, mummy's little soldier? Uh, yeah, you, you yeah. actually think that he might be <laughs> exaggerating. Yeah. Or being yeah. a bit of a wuss about it. But he stood um, there he stood there now with his hands out to you and his his in, eyes in case, closed. I'll I'll hold off on, on the heel and I'll just cast a um a remove fear. Okay, yeah, go for it. Um, yeah, he sort of like ha- um, has any fear of Jezebel um, removed. And yeah, as, as I do that, I'm talking to him saying, Yeah, Dad. Percy, <laughs> yeah, Percy, you know, it'll be all right. You're your own man. You Tapping her on the head. Own... Yeah, that's right. Are you, um, you Jezebel? Are you hide- handing the jewelry box to Belle? Yeah. 
Uh, Bell? I, oh, Bell's gone. Oh, where's he gone? Oh, Bell's back. Ninja. Belly. Oh, Bell's back, but everyone's in the wrong place, Bell. No. We can't hear oh, you, Bell. Bell. Belly. Can anybody hear Bell, or is it just me? I can't hear Bell. Papa, can you hear me? He's gone again. Has he gone again? He's typing. Internet crashed. Internet crashed. Oh. Did, does he? Ah, uh, does he need? I'll uh, message him on. You need an invite, won't he? Yeah. If I move my hand away from my face enough, it blurs it out so I can like do it do does. <laughs> so sensors. It's the little things that matter. <laughs> I'm going to censor myself using. Yeah. Let's do it. There, there we go. Now, oh, no. Oh. It needs to be admitted. There we go. Okay, he's coming. He's, he's coming back in, so don't talk about him. Right. That was a good evening. We've got to go. Yeah, I just can't wait. Oh, it's not, sorry. He's still there. You're missing. I'm back. My internet just crashed there. It's snowing pretty heavily right now. Oh, aren't you lucky? We got yeah. snow next week, I think. I hope so. Um got it booked. Well, Strange definition of lucky. <sighs> <laughs> um, so, Belle, um, Ida has just passed you a locked jewellery box. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love these kinds of things. This is exactly what I'm... Oh, thank you so much for... It, it's it's all right. Giving me just, this just, present. Just think of all the food you will be able to feed. Yep. I will accept this gift from you. <laughs> um, and then I'd like to try and pick it. Um, but I have a power that I'd like to add to this. Wow. I That's have an ability it. called Sutterfuge um, that makes it so any thing that has to do with lock picking mechanisms or slight are one difficulty grade easier because I'm a rogue. Nice. It's one of my starter abilities. So nice. Um, hopefully, I can use the music against all the boards that are going to give me penalties. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go for it. Pick that lock picking skill. Scroll all the way back down. Yikes. <laughs> oh, wait. No, it would be an easy unless I have a difficulty grade from you. Penalty. Yes. It, it would be uh, uh, an easy. Um, so, so that's not a problem at all. It actually. Um, clicks open. You could actually make it very easy because you could take a minute of it uh, as well. Um, so speeding as quick as I can. It, in when you open the box, it was just locked. Um, that's all it was. And um, Percy just just says, um, "Those are my mistress's jewels." Uh, Not anymore. You open it up, and there's it's full of um, pieces of jewelry and um, semi precious gems and stones mm. um you um do you have a commerce skill i oh. do have a commerce skill um yeah. from back in my time at the gnomish courts um royal courts i didn't pay attention no do you have any <laughs> luck left i have no luck left right you figure there can, <laughs> can i peer over her shoulder and, and use my my commerce skill <laughs> Uh, no, um, unless you, I think this one's the best. It's very shiny. Yeah. And, um, cause you would not know that she's failed her role. Um, so Belle, you actually think, um, we, we roll, a a one D six. Oh my. One's negative, odds negative, evens are positive. Okay, then. You actually think it's all of these together sold to be about um, a thousand silver pieces quite easily. Mm -hmm. That is such a beautiful gift to give me, Ida. I... <laughs> I'm i going to close the lid back down. I'm, just, I'm so touched that you would think of me for this. 
I just, it's, 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 it's not a gift for you. <laughs> It's, it's a I it was a dumbfounded. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I was. Speechless there. Um, I did, just, oh, I thought because yeah. no, well, it was locked. I, I think you agreed it, it was and, a gift. And you no, no, it was locked. No. And you, you're the only one that could open it because you're our special little lock opener. Mm. Ruffle, that ruffle, is ruffle. true. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll just keep one of them, and then they'll be fine. You guys. But rest. what about the children? And the children's children. They they are our future. They are. No, I don't future. have any children. <laughs> what what about the poor? Oh, what, about what about poor me? Poor? I don't have like any <laughs> money. <laughs> <laughs> because we keep spending our money on Brasive's diet, which is not really a diet. <laughs> it seems to just be a lot of food. And your yeah. donations. I'm the only one keeping us responsible, if I if I can be frank about this. Though I need I mean, to feed my pecs. Caramore might join me on that. Well, I, I'm responsible. going to need. I'm going to need some of the proceeds from that to get this uh, carriage repaired. Yeah. Okay, actually, that's a good. Although, point. Although, in fairness, I could use since he did the damage, I could use Brasive's chair for that, couldn't I? That's a good idea. <laughs> but if we don't feed Brasive with his chair, then he's going to. Well, he'll get. I think hungry. one of these days he actually will kill and eat me if he gets too hungry. Sounds like uh, a uh, problem. Br Brace uses willpower check not to lick his lips. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> the, the other, other white meat. Will, willpower check. It's just, it should be just as much meat as a rabbit, so. Yeah, you keep yeah. calling me a rabbit when we're deep in the mines. I can imagine you walking around, oh, what, my bim back, bim back, bim back, bim back, bim back. Come on, well, well you willpower. I was... I read, I... Oh! <laughs> 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 Basis licks his lips. See, <sighs> you he can't, he can't take out any of his diet fun. No. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll we'll share it responsibly. Yeah. Once we once we yeah. clear our overheads, but then we can give what's left to the uh, the. Poor How much people. silver to gold ratio? How much silver pieces to gold? Gonna... Put this in my backpack for now. Oh, hold is on. It 10, is it ten to one? You, yeah, you you haven't um, exchanged into gold pieces at all um, this early on in your career. All you've had is like silver pieces. Got it. Um, I, while you're sort of like um, talking and looking at um, jewelry boxes, Percy notices the map. Um, now that he's got his eyes open. Um, Ida, that's in the carriage. Mm. And he points to it and says, that's it. That's where she's gone. That's where she's gone. They were following that map. Oh, but that's that's handy. Thank you, Percy. And, and I, I'll, I'll open the map. Yeah, so... I don't like to put a damper on, on our enthusiasm here, but leaving the map behind just screams trap in very, very loud voice. And you, you open the map, uh, Jezebel. It's a very extremely crude map. It almost like looks as if it was drawn um, with charcoal on a bit of parchment. Um, but you, you notice, um, you recognize several things about it. The first thing you can recognize is something, a box that is, could be the town. It's very close to a mountain range, but there's no words on the map um, at all. So there's like a box um, that's been colored in that could be the town. And then there seems to be a dotted line that makes its way from where we are on the map south through, the, through our map at the moment. Uh, a dotted line through a forest and there's those lo like little clouds to, to make it look like a forest. Um, it's not very well drawn um, at all. Uh, and then what it carries on um, for a while and then there seems to be a, a clearing being sh um, drawn on the map and in that clearing is drawn um, like a house if that makes sense, you know, like mm. a box with a, a triangle uh, on it. And um, on the actual, the square bit, it's not colored in or anything. There's just the outline of a skull. Oh. Uh, and, and that's it. 
I take it back. It's not a trap. This map is intended to sap our morale. Took our will to live. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> so, so basically, we just keep heading south. And per Percy says, "What do you mean?" Well, that's what it's the map the says. North. Well, it, I, 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 I think, I think we should go back. We, I think we should go back to the uh, to the tavern. No. Well, maybe maybe you should. I, go back I, to the I, I hate I hate to break it to you all, people. And he looks at you, brave, and he looks up and into your eye. He says, "You you will be no match for her. She is more powerful than the most powerful member of this group." And he points to you, brave. You, she. He turns to you, Bell. Well, you're you're just a an a gnat. She will flick you away or squash you with the palm of her hand. If she notices me. Well, with that color hair, I think people are going to notice you. Okay, well, I'm the one who cut the ropes on your <laughs> arms. I mean, nobody saw me then. I'm going to bend over to face him eye to eye. I will squish her brains between my hands. And he sort of like, um, do you have an intimidation? I do. Yeah, roll it. Don't make me angry. Okay. Yes. Oh, I know. Hang on. Because it's opposed by his um, willpower, okay. uh, which, is, which is 27. He doesn't strike me as someone with a high. Oh, give it! Oh, it, it. It, it, it turns around <laughs> to you, Brazy, and says, then again. "You, you are not frightening me. You are all broad and powerful muscles and axes. She will squash you." And um, he, he turns around to Brace you. Of, yeah, he's going to ignore her. Brazy's going to ignore him, and he's going to. Uh, use track to find the other horse, so you can use like, we can use this wagon. Okay, so there's actually three horses missing, and it, you you do not have an unless somebody has a, animal handling. I I just have magical beasts. I don't have animal handling. Oh, so. so you you can you can start to see um which which way they go. Roll, roll your tracking. Never mind. Yeah. You sort of like look around and um, Percy looks up to you, Ida, and we, with a, a plea in your her, his eyes, he says, you, you are a nice lady. You are, don't throw your life away here. Let's just go back to the tavern and go and find a, a nearby safe place to live rather than plunging to our deaths and throwing our bodies at the feet of Jezebel Candlewick, the second most powerful necromancer in the world. And I'll put my hand on his shoulder and say, Percy, you want to run away and hide, that's fine. But be aware that if we do not finish this and, and destroy this monstrous thing that's happening, then there will be no safe place. If they're that powerful, they will keep spreading and spreading. Then the town will go, and no matter where you hide, they will find you. So don't you think it better to get well, rid of the, the problem? Well, your influence. Hey. It sounds like a, a, a dog's tail is bashing up against a speaker. Could anybody else hear that or just me? Sorry, that's my phone. No, I shouldn't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. Um, he, he, he sort of like um, looks at you and says, pretty lady, you are far too nice to die at the hand of two necromancers. But, well, if we... but your road is obviously on a different track. Good luck. And at, at that point, as the clock strolls, 10 o'clock, uh, we will re end the session um for this week um with everybody waiting maybe to go separate ways or 
journey further waving at percy yeah (laughs) walking favor further into the forest to meet not one necromancer but possibly two and the word lich was mentioned as well yeah yeah i just want to never enjoy those uh, yeah so there you go maybe, maybe we'll be lucky lich technically just means man so yeah but maybe it's not an undead so will well or maybe he means leech yeah oh, nasty position. yeah um yeah see that's why caramel took swimming because you got yeah. to swim across a lake of maybe, maybe he's just like a little dyslexic <laughs> <laughs> um right thank you so much for coming on thank you to um bitter coast pilgrim who subscribed halfway through the um stream but there's no alerts because we don't have alerts on when we're playing to distract normally i would sing you a thank you song but um not when i'm dming i'm afraid um thank you to um, everybody in the chat who's come along it's been really nice to see you all um mr pickles what would you like to if there's anything you would like to advertise i have a podcast that most people know about and i took that personally on spotify have a podcast we're hoping to get the newest episode out by the end of the month um it's Ooh. about the, the movie the nun and uh, the conjuring verse in general uh, that Brad really wanted to talk about. It's myself and my friend Brad, and I took that personally. Thank you. And I've put the link to that podcast in the chat. And uh, Medivac. Oh, thank you. Um, Monday, well, Sunday night, we're doing uh, our, we're still considering Baldur's Gate 3 in our playthrough. Monday night, we've finished, and these are all from 7 to 7.30 ish onwards. Um, Monday night we finished Cyberpunk Red now, and we're moving on to uh, Night Black Agents uh, using Mithras rule set. Yay! So that's, yay! Um, so this week will be character creation, possibly a little bit of adventure afterwards, but we'll see. And then Thursday night, because we've missed this Thursday due to work commitments, is Warhammer Fun to see the Excellent. Enemy Within campaign. Yes. Really good. Campaign. And I passed on your, I think I told you on Discord, Zal and his wife, Mork. Uh, would like to do i'm going to do Baldur's gate three together as well so oh, i brilliant. recommended your your stream i i do believe you played Rev, remnant with uh, Remin- Le- yeah with lisa, lisa yeah, yeah yeah i i remember that awesome. yeah the dragon yeah you did really well i remember watching that um um Caramore, what would you like to anything you would like to say i don't know if Dratta cup is still in the chat um, she was, she was earlier yeah. on, but tomorrow evening uh, I will I will be playing Terrors and Tommy Guns on her channel. Um, we played the first session last week. Hopefully, it should be a short scenario. Hopefully, the the, the conclusion of it will be tomorrow on her channel. I see. Only thing I know is definitely happening this week. Okay, I'd like to do a map and Monday stream, but probably won't happen. Probably won't happen. We'll, we'll <laughs> nag you. Okay, then let's hear it. Oh, uh, nothing much. Uh, nothing. To, I'm actually, I'm. Just, I am going to start a, a review for different drinks. It's, it's a little little thing. Uh, right now, this week's going to be uh, different hot cocos. Um, I'm going to try something new. It's it's my roommate's. It's like a a white chocolate cocoa. Um, I thought it was a sugar bag, but it, oh, uh, I'm just going to try that. Actually. So, I tried it. I tried it before. As soon as somebody's saying, I, "Oh I Lord," I know <laughs> it has lots of sugar in it because I'm really hyper when I take it, um, and it has a kind of a bitter taste. But uh, uh-huh. I'll try it again. Maybe maybe it was just like kind of weird thing. <laughs> thing. Uh, besides that, nothing too crazy though. Okay, uh, you know, just look look out for that. So, um, if you want to talk to or see Captain Kangaroo drinking milk, white hot chocolate, white uh, chocolate cocoa. I think cocoa. that's. It, it, they, they misspelled it on there. I yeah, think it's maybe dyslexic. It, it, it's spelled with a, with a K instead of a, a C. It's weird. Smile. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. So you watch out for that. Thank you. Um, you can see me tomorrow at um, 10 o'clock. You're all laughing and I have no idea what you're laughing at. So I'm just moving on. I'm just moving on. I am. As soon as I hear Mr. Pickle saying, oh, Lord, I, I know it's something that I don't want to know about. <laughs> 
Um, I will be back tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock with some more Elder Scrolls Online, getting ready for the guilds and whatever event with some pickpocketing, etc. And then tomorrow evening, um, I will be on making, doing some GM prep work. So I'm actually... I'm creating at the moment the Mithras adventure that will follow on after this one. And also on Monday night and Tuesday night, you can catch me playing um, Subnautica um, from 5 o'clock um, GMT time in the evening, 1,700 hours for uh, three hours on both of those. So, yes, plenty. We can probably got the whole week covered. And when we're not streaming, then you can listen to the podcast or attend Captain Kangaroo's um, party with his hot white cocoa drinks. I think I hope I said that right. Um, so, yeah, so thank you very much for coming on. Thank you for all the support. And just to say it's goodbye from me. See you later. And it's goodbye from them. Goodbye. 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 That was a weird salute. Don't do that, Meta Back. You're gonna you're gonna get cancelled. <laughs> what, what what was the salute? I didn't. <laughs> <It was. laughs>